Anyone who says they enjoy moving is a sociopath. I'm just gonna throw that out there before we even get started. How have you guys been? I have missed you guys, like insanely. It has not felt right being able to stream. I have been so freaking like restless because there's been nothing else going on besides work and it's been so weird. But how's everyone's doing? Fernands, Tom, Jacob, Cobble, how you doing? Hey, clone trooper. What is up, uh, Tom again? How you doing? Bringing in the vibes. Yeah, what is up? I have returned. The commander is once again commanding. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, they're lying. Uh, jokes on Nightbot never been cool. Everyone's cool here, okay? Everyone's cool here, Nightbot. Love helping my friends. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so bad for the people who were helping me move because it was a situation where there were just too many cooks in the kitchen and we were getting mad over the dumbest stuff. Like, I am so grateful for their help, but like, I feel so bad because we can't help the arguments because too many people are trying to do the exact same thing. It's just way too stressful. Ace, how are you doing? What is up? Trying to catch up here. Surfer, I missed you guys too. Heisenberg, hi. Uh, Valen Rain, to be fair though, when you help someone else move, you automatically get a favor for them in the future. True. Helping someone else move, you are owed something. You are owed favor. Coffee, dinner, pizza, something. Because it sucks. Is this the same camera? It is the same camera, but I think it's just plugged in better because I have so much room for extra plugins now. And there's just so much going on. I have a second monitor. I have a second monitor. So now I can move you guys over here. Oh my God, it's such a good time. Also ignore my boxes. This is my box collection. I'm putting together a box army for my snake husband. Terrible Amber, thank you so much for the three months. Three months going strong. Uh, it's good to see you guys again. It's so good to see you guys again. Oh my god. I, I'm happy though. Like, it's it sucked. Moving has been sucky, but it's so good to like feel like you're getting settled. Double infinite screens. I only have to do an infinite screen on one now. So now it can protect my privacy and not have all my work documents open on one screen. And now I can just open you guys somewhere else. Art Club, how are you doing? What is up with you? How have you been? Welcome in, Art Blob. How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. How are you guys doing? Uh, just owed pizza. Pizza is agreed upon in compensation. Moving coffee is driving to the airport. True. My compensation for doing anything for my friends is coffee. And they know this. Especially if I have to go out of my way to do it, they know. It, it's completely understanded. Uh, do we have conflicting bots? Are there conflicting bots? Oh no, Nightbot, the fuck are you doing, brother? 
But how are people doing? It's been a week. I haven't seen you guys in a week. Did anything new happen? Anyone get married? Anyone stub their toe? Anyone sell a house? Anyone rob a bank? Go on vacation? This coffee. This coffee's actually surprisingly good. I got it from a like a local place. And it's it's weird. It's like espresso, cinnamon, and orange. And then I added a vanilla shot. I don't know. It's it's not my normal, but it's really good. I definitely need to go get a straw though. Spring Lake, thank you so much for the five months. Oh my god, we are so close to the six months. We are so close. You robbed Pearson? Oh, do you mean the uh, uh Pearson Pearson? Do you mean the school book company? Because if so, please rob them. No, that's P E A R something. Uh finish the final parody song. Yay. I love the parody songs. They're so good. Oh, Cobble, thank you for the housewarming hype. Also, yeah, Pretzel, whoever the hell you are, if you keep trying to send links, d d stop doing it. Especially when Nightbot says not to. You're just gonna get banned. You're just gonna have to go. You lost 15 pounds in a week, Clone Trooper? Are you okay? Like, I'm proud, but also that doesn't sound healthy. Not in a week. Like, in th two to three weeks, maybe. But I hope everything is well. RDR2 videos. When Oh, that Pearson. Okay, I thought we were talking about the school book Pearson. That uh, if you've gone, actually, you know what? It's not just a college thing. It's a high school thing, too. Those people will steal your money. Those people are thugs. Go full godfather and say you come to the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of the godfather, that is also on the list of movies that I have to watch. And we will have a movie reaction posted soon. The first one. It's very exciting. All you noodles. Hardflop, how you been? Oh, Clone Trooper, thank you so much for the hundred. Bot listing, you're currently playing songs. Oh. Yo, bot, stop it. Oh, it's probably because I'm running it through um, one of Twitch's... Uh, the one that Twitch wants you to use, pretzel or something? That, oh, it's a, that is a bot. Okay, it wasn't a person, it was a bot. Now I understand what you guys were saying. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll just bot, we'll block the pretzel bot. It's not gonna, what's it gonna do? Try to appeal, it's a bot. That'd be funny if a bot tried to appeal. I have not started the Patreon yet. The only thing with my first reaction was that it was kind of boring because a, I didn't want to talk too much during the movie, and B, it's just like an entirely different uh, form of doing something, so I felt a little bit weird about it, but the edit came out really good. The edit was really good. I'm very excited. And also, our editor, he did something awesome where he made an intro and outro for the videos, and it looks so good. It, I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh... Da, part of the dieting program, secret to eat. Oh, okay, so you're just changing up your diet entirely. You know what, I respect it, I need to do that, but I can't let go of caffeine. A John running into Dutch in the Blackwater Theater before the finale. Oh, interest. wait, that's interesting. I didn't know you could run into him. Uh, Mike, what's up? Thank you so much for the five months. I know, completely new person, new boxes, I'm a box collection. I'm now, I'm no longer a streamer, I am a box collector. And this isn't even half of it. Yeah, you guys can't see the rest of this room. Oh, man. And the annoying thing is, is that I don't want to keep boxes because they're trash. But also, I don't want to get rid of some of these boxes because they have like the styrofoam in them that protects my electronics. So when I go to move again, I'm gonna want the boxes. It's a lot. Tom, thank you so much for the 300 for the welcome back. Hi, I missed you guys. Like it is, it is sucked not being here. We could do, oh my God, I actually do have boxes to unpack. We could do a full boxing stream, but we won't. We could though. Adam, thank you so much for the five months. Restub and get back to using emotes. Oh, that's something else. I gotta write it down. I finally do have, that's something I need to do today or tomorrow is buy or not buy, commission new emotes because I've been saying I was going to do it forever, 
but for some reason my brain would not hold on to that task and i think now that i'm finally like a person again i can finally put in the request that i need happen to have a glass jar collection problem too no but i need to I really want to collect different glasses, like goblets and stuff of like different styles, but in the same color scheme. I feel like that would be really fun. This is the new chair. She has the headrest and everything. She's really fun. And she has arms, which my old chair didn't. And it actually caused me a lot of problems with my rotator cuff and my shoulder. I guess because I would like sit with my weight completely down. So there would be a lot of tension in my rotator cuff. And that's why a lot of the times I would have to grab hold of my shoulder. So hopefully having armrests will fix the problem. Uh, playing Yakuza. It's the remake of the first Yakuza game. Ooh, that's something else that's on the list is Yakuza. That is something that I definitely need to start doing because there have been so many suggestions for games that I don't know if I'll personally get around to, but if I put them on like Patreon for people to vote on and I like have it as part of my uh, schedule that I really can't get around, I would get through so much more content. Uh, cool Lord of the Rings glass, which movies? Ooh, I, okay. The movies, the movies will be coming at some point. I have another series that I'm currently trying to make it through, which will arguably take much longer because there's more to it. But it'll be, we'll watch it. I promise you that I will do a Lord of the Rings reaction at some point. Bless Joe, our editor, because I I don't know how he's going to sit through that edit. Because it's like three hours long. It really is. Make sure to raise low the armed rest more comfortable height. I think they're fine now, but I do know how to move them. I think they're fine now. Herman Miller have stolen one of the office chiefs at home. Tasty, how have you been? Oh, Soul Blazer, thank you so much for the hundred. Oh, thank you. Therefore, a hard time trying to fit in with other Twitch groups. Oh, love video games. You're so welcome to be here, Soul Blazer. I'm really happy that you can like be here and hang out and you feel welcomed. And yeah, that's something that I really love about this group in general, because I remember way back when people used to actually introduce themselves in the introduction page on Discord. So many different people from different walks of life, like different ages, different jobs, that some people have families, some don't. And it's just so cool to see how expanded uh the demographic of this community is and i love it it's so much fun i love you guys is it a star wars reaction i can't say it's a secret only two people know <laughs> only two people will ever know until i post it and then more people will know well sarah knows but sarah knows everything sarah doesn't count imagine having a job Oh, man. If you're looking for a job, it'll happen soon. If you don't want a job, I support you. Okay, jobs, working isn't for everyone. Sarah knows about the parody songs, too. She won't tell me about them, but she does She does say that, like, people have, you've reached out to her about them. But she won't tell me any information. I guess sometimes things have to be a surprise. If you're, like, 30 plus, you're getting pushed away from the Twitch communities. Uh, oh, no, that's so annoying. What? That doesn't make any sense. Because I feel like that's one of the cool things about am an anonymity on the internet is that you can literally be anyone and as long as you're a cool person, like, it doesn't matter. But I guess sometimes it does happen and that is really sad. Been looking for a job but I don't want one, the duality man. Facts. Facts. I have this weird thing where it's like, I think that I don't want to work and then the moment I have like mind rest time my brain explodes because I'm not used to not doing things so I have to work because it's the default moving with sin's reaction choo choo uh love being 30 plus and annoying kids in chess streamer communities oh chess streaming communities okay because I know um is it the Botez sisters? Is that their last name? I know that they're massive. And I watch some of their YouTube videos, but I've never watched a stream from them. 
I feel like that would be cool. I would like to learn more about chess. I can beat people that don't know anything about chess, but if you know something about chess, I can't win. I can bullshit my way through it, but... Looks like a fun game. I need to get back into it, Gab, because Eternal Threads actually was a lot of fun. And it's, it's cool that, like, it was our first sponsored video, and I actually enjoyed the game, because that was kind of a fear of mine that sponsorships would get offered and I would not be able to enjoy something that I'm playing for whatever reason and then I might not know how to handle that for a little while. But honestly, Internal Threads, such a fun game. I need to get back into it and finish it. And I've, I've been able to watch a couple other people play it, just like the first um, 30, 40 minutes of other people. And it's so interesting how differently other people play based on what point in the timeline you choose it's it's a lot of fun i cannot suggest it more for you guys to like play for yourself and i'm not saying that because just one video was sponsored like whatever like it is a lot of fun find an at-home job right now but the ones i found are either throw people over via insurance yeah that sucks uh pay so low you cannot support yourself yep so i've been sticking around programming contracts for now yeah, the annoying thing about at home right now is that if you're not getting an at home remote job from like a very reputable company, which is very hard to even get noticed because so many people want those remote jobs for like massive uh, tech companies and other adjacent industries, you get a lot of these companies that are basically just one version of multi-level marketing or the other or like insurance companies or sales companies that kind of misrepresent themselves so it's it's not fun in the job market right now it's really not never push out and welcome in streamer communities because of your age maybe just lucky to come across the good ones oh Herder, thank you so much i'm happy you feel welcome here as well gotta do what you love for a career true True. Look coy to make a living that I've seriously considered that on top of what you already do. Tasty, do it. Do it. Definitely. It's, it's a fun side hustle. It's a fun hobby. But it's so difficult to make a full-time career for anyone. And the space is so limited for people who can make it full-time that you pretty much have to use it as a hobby or a side hustle and just something that you enjoy doing that you can make money off of. But yeah, I'd say do it. Definitely. Uh, did you see any other endings for Detroit Become Human? Not yet. Not yet, because the moment I finished that game, I started moving. So I have not been able to do anything that requires my PS5. Try working in game development. There's actually a lot of remote positions. Rue our blob. That is very true. There are a lot of remote positions in game development right now. A psychiatric evaluation is basically a doctor opening your head and looking into your brain and going, what the Oh no, Gab, I am sorry. Psychiatric evaluations, they suck because you feel very judged. But hopefully it offers some useful results, if that is what you're looking for. Regardless of what you are, these school people uh, screw people over. They serve essentially, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's most sales positions. Not all of them, but a strong number of sales positions. Taking less and less contracts. Yeah. Insight from... A maid streamer. Yeah, any questions you ever have, I have no issues answering them and like being honest about it because I did, I was lucky enough that I didn't go into streaming thinking that it could be a full time thing. It was just something fun to do when I kind of just didn't have anything else going on in my life and it turned out really well. But it's definitely not, um, something that I would look at being full time, at least not right now. Going to have many games in her backlog now that she shared her Steam. Yeah, I've gotten a couple and they look really cool. Also, I downloaded another game for us to potentially play today. I downloaded Stanley Parable because so many people were talking about it. So now we have that ready to go if we want to play that. So yeah, I downloaded a bunch of different things. Lovey, how are you doing? How is everything going in Australia? Um, okay, programming. Okay. Yeah, Stanley. Yeah, everyone was talking about it, so I downloaded it. But how's everyone doing? Adam, thank you so much for the shout out for Lazzy. Lazzy, how's work going today? 
content creation again, want to figure out what kind of content you actually want to make. Yeah, and it'll take some time, definitely, figuring out um, what you want to do, how you want to record it, what's going to work best for you. Like, it's a, it's a process, and it's not always fun. How dare you stop playing music? Interesting. Being weird again. Oh, maybe it's just because I did it this way. There we go. Now that's fixed. I was wondering why the music suddenly stopped. There we go. Oh, Tom, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Prez. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Arrived at work munching on a fruit salad. Fruit salad sounds good. Fruit salad sounds really good. Pixie, how are you doing? What is up? Stanley Parable is fun, really cool, single stream kind of game. Well, that's a good thing that we have it. Shadow King, what's up? Yes, new home, new home. Um, lots still needs to be fixed. This room is going to get substantially darker as the night goes on because a lot of the light is coming from that window that I have to put blackout curtains on. So the lighting is going to move around a lot as we go. Wife asked, so so softly in the house, I said it was afraid her bird was listening. And Alexa laughed at, oh no, Herder, thank you so much for the hundred and the joke. Oh man, Alexa laughing is terrifying. Have an amazing resume, oh. Into Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo 3, Fable 3, and a few others, just a little programming things, nothing huge. That is so cool! That's awesome! New home? Yes, Lazzy! New place! We're gonna be doing so much. This background is going to change every time you guys see it because there's already stuff that has to go back here. And I might end up changing the camera angle. So you see this like dip outward in the wall? I think I'm gonna get an LED light for that, one of the ones that you can have customized to say things and then position so that you guys can see it as well because this desk is not my final desk anyway. The desk that came out of that box, it was bought off Amazon and I have now learned my lesson about buying furniture off of Amazon. So I bought an actual sturdy desk from Ashley Furniture. So this desk is going bye-bye very soon. But yeah, I learned my lesson. I thought that I was gonna be okay with buying like cheaper furniture and dealing with that. But then I really thought about it and I was like, I don't own any furniture that is mine. So anything that I buy is going to be an investment that I'm going to keep for hopefully a very long amount of time. So I don't mind spending extra money on a very sturdy, good quality desk with very good cord management and just keeping that for a very long time. Uh, Herder, thank you so much for gifting the gab. Thank you, thank you. Isn't even my, <laughs> this isn't even my final desk. <laughs> Hiding in one of those boxes. I have not checked those boxes. Maybe. I haven't checked those boxes. I need to. I really, really do. Really want to get a new desk. Lawsy, if you want to spend the money and make the investment, Ashley Furniture, I don't, well, do you guys have an Ashley Furniture? I'm sure you have something equal to that if you don't have the exact same company, or at least you'll be able to like ship the model. They have really good desks, really good desks. But yeah, I don't think Sarah's in there. Yeah, Ashley's Furniture, that is what I used. Literally, I went furniture shopping in so many different places and I could not find things that I really wanted to spend money on. Because like I said, it's gonna be an investment. I wanna keep it for a long period of time. So anything I buy, I want to really like. And I went to so many different places and finally went into Ashley Furniture and found my entire bedroom suit, a couch, a TV stand, a desk. So yeah, I should have just went there first. Desk at the moment was made for an ant. Oh yeah, you need an L-shaped desk. That is what this bad boy is. You guys can't see the side of it and it's gonna go bye-bye very soon, but the other one is very large. About the end of stream, but... Uh, what? There's something I wanna ask you about the end of stream. Fred, just ask it. We're not busy, we're chatting. We're not busy. We're just chatting. 
Yeah, the new chair hype. She's comfy. I do love the headrest. It's a lot of fun. I can just hit my head against it. It's really cool. <laughs> I also have to get another chair in here for in case we have a surprise guest. So I don't want her to sit on the same uncomfortable stools that she did before. So I will be getting my other chair back. And Wayfair, depending on what I'm looking for. I was going to use Wayfair, but uh, my only thing is that I didn't want to order things online and end up not liking them and have to send them back. So Ashley Furniture ended up working out because I could physically see and touch everything that I wanted to have delivered to me. Uh, oh, you do have one there. I love that store. They have so many fun things to look at. White Wolf, thank you so, oh my God. Oh, I thought you were just subscribing. Thank you so much for gifting 10. Thank you, thank you, White Wolf. How are you doing? Also, Prez, yes, we can definitely show the, um, uh, no, if you would be interested in helping you. Oh, finish the parody song. We can, we totally can. We totally can do that, Prez. But thank you so much, White Wolf. I, I definitely need to, oh, Kyperbole got one. Oh my God, I love her. She's a fellow streamer. She is absolutely amazing. She's still making, she's actually on right now, but she's playing Final Fantasy. I was gonna say that she was playing Elden Ring when she like switches back and forth between the two. But thank you so much. Oh man, you guys are crazy. Thank you, thank you. I need to get new emotes. And then I want to get so many emotes that we can like rotate them out. So the people who've been here longer will have different emotes than people who have like been here shorter amounts of time, if that makes sense. I don't know if I can do that, but that would be cool. Have a pair of nightstands with LED lights and a regular bed. LED lights, LED lights are fun. Doing well, just got off work, grab some to eat, now chilling. Ah, I'm happy you just got off work. I hope everything went well at work. Didn't know you were streaming tonight, Sin. M uh, much of a pain to move into the new place. Yes, well, I am probably 30% moved in. And most of my stress actually, actually furniture is great because they will deliver and set everything up for me. So on Thursday and Friday, I will have all of my big furniture delivered and set up for me. And the biggest issue that I'm personally going to have to deal with is the fact that um, my entire building is wired for AT&T fiber, which was great because AT&T fiber is really good. But um, the problem is that no one turned my wall jacks on. My ethernet wall jacks, they're plugged in because I took them apart and made sure that they were all daisy chained together, but they are not on for some reason. So I'm going to have to pay $150 to AT&T to come and fix something that is likely their fault. So once that is done, then I will be satisfied because right now, I don't know if anyone saw my tweet, but I'm currently running a 50 foot ethernet cable from one side of my apartment to the other because I have to be able to get to the AT&T um, broadband box that's in my closet. So yeah, AT&T is really fun. But I, I am willing to deal with it because I love to the home fiber so much. How they not, that's the weird thing. It's on, but it is only on in my closet. It's only on in my closet where the box is. So I'm running the 50 foot cable from my closet in here. And it's just so weird. They are such a headache to be honest. Uh, with or without internet for days. Oh no, I know the pain. It is a painful experience. Rocket, thank you so much for gifting to Yancy G. Was gifted pain it forward. Oh, thank you. And thank you for coming over from YouTube. I will definitely be getting back to regular YouTube videos um, tonight. I have a swan song video that's ready to go. And then I'm probably going to record some more um, Eternal Threads because the next big playthrough was supposed to be The Last of Us Part 2, but I don't feel like I'm far enough through it to feel comfortable uploading those videos yet because I don't know if anyone knows where I am in the game, but right now I'm, um, I just finished going to the hospital as Ellie. So I'm a couple hours in, but I don't think I'm even halfway through the game. So I'm definitely holding off until I get the rest of the setup going where I can fully record the rest of The Last of Us. I'm on direct cable and yeah, Wi-Fi. It's day and night. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, yeah, this is, this can be a closet stream. I can move us into the closet, and that is just where, where we will stream from from now on. You won't hear a bad word. I, I'm enjoying it. Like, I know people are going to, like, say something in the very beginning. I already made a note in the first video. Like, if you have a negative opinion, keep it to yourself until the series is done. Because I do not want to open every single video and see the exact same comments. So yeah, that's one of the big reasons that I'm like, I have to finish this game before it starts uploading because like, I just don't want to deal with it. Rasputin, how, how are you doing? What is up? Uh, another stupid idea involves the real anniversary of YouTube. Oh yeah, the real anniversary is June 14th, I think. I think that was the first Mass Effect video. I think it was. Uh, yes, I do know girlfriend reviews, but I don't watch- I haven't watched their videos in quite a long time, but I do know who that is. Rig set up with a 100 foot ethernet cable from upstairs to downstairs, and there were faster cables at your- <laughs> Oh man, I- I was going to consider getting a longer cable, but luckily 50 foot worked just fine. Destroyed over the YouTube video on The Last of Us Part 2. They had to make a video to ask people to stop the hate. That's ridiculous. Like, ugh. I'm very attached to The Last of Us Part 1. So, like, I can understand being upset if the second game doesn't end well. But also, it's like, I can get over it. Like, go touch grass. It's a game. Don't harass real people over media. Got bored of The Last of Us, happy to watch play through The Last of Us 2 when it goes up. How did you get bored with The Last of Us? It was so good! Or The Last of Us Part 2 is a sequel, The Last of Us Part 1, crazy, right? Uh, by the way, the first Mass Effect- Oh, June 11th! Thank you, I was off by three days. Oh my god. The true anniversary is very close. Yeah, just go touch grass, man. Like, I get it, you're attached to it, but go, go, go play outside. Go, go meet your friends. Go do something that doesn't involve being upset over fictional characters. Disable YouTube comments until you finish. That's the only thing is that people, uh, I learned through Red Dead Redemption that if people wanna tell me something, they'll find a way to tell me something. I have gotten like private Twitter messages. I've had things sent to my like business email. It's, it's just worth finishing it and then uploading it because believe me, if people wanna tell me something, they'll find a way. I even had someone, I didn't open this because I'm spiteful. Um, someone sent me an email from like an anonymous email server, like Gorilla Mail or something. You have to like pay to have an anonymous mail profile or something. And I thought that was ridiculous, so I deleted it. And I have to this day don't know what it said because if you're not gonna like, I'm a public figure. So if you can reach out to me personally, like just do it through your own means, you know? Just use your own email or do it through Twitter, which is still somewhat anonymous. Like, don't use an anonymous mail thing because that's weird. It was a Nigerian prince. I missed my chance to be a princess. Damn it. There goes my chance at 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, the 11th Saturday. Oh, man, it's so close and that's gonna be so weird. That's so weird, but I love it. It's gonna be a year. As a podcaster, yeah, I hear about getting hate and all that sin. It's so weird. Like, just send it to my, like, actual personal stuff and just, I will look at it. But yeah, if you try to send me something anonymously, I'm not gonna look at it out of principle because I'm spiteful. Uh, found out about the YouTube channel an hour ago because Detroit Become Human just got the notification coming to Twitch soon. Is this supposed to be a sign? It is definitely a sign. Welcome over from YouTube. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch the Detroit videos yet, but I hope you enjoy them when you do. Uh, Nigerian Prince, send them my way. Lazi, I got you. I got you. Yay, if you're okay with polyamory, we can both marry the Nigerian Prince and spend his money. Two better than one. The only disappointment I felt was the end of ME3, and that was the end. That's understandable. I feel like with the uh, Mass Effect, as much as I loved it, it was a situation where 
the journey was better than the destination and I was okay with that because the story was so much fun. The Mass Effect was a masterpiece in my mind and I am upset that everything that happened came down to one decision, but I thoroughly enjoyed it regardless. One day I hope we get like a TV show. Both of us, yes, yes, we will be married as well legally. And that will also protect us when we go to divorce him because we can join our finances and it will be two versus one. I'm coming up with so many ideas. We're gonna be fine, Lossie, we got this. We're going to take all the money and we're going to dip. We like funnel it all into a joint account with just the two of us and then we leave. It's such a good idea. <laughs> oh man, Saturday's the perfect day for that. Just watch the first episode, pretty impressive. Oh, thank you. I'm really happy that you're enjoying it. Who plays the Shepherd? Oh, in like the TV series? Okay, here's my thing. Male Shepherd is boring. I don't want Male Shepherd to be the lead of the show. He's boring. Sue me. Female Shep. Who's the who? What's her name? What's her name? She plays um Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy, and she's also from Doctor Who. Gilly? Gilly? Karen Gillian, that's who I want in the live action. That is who I want in the live action. Had a crush on her for years. I still have a crush on her. Yeah. And I, I'm also choosing, she's a good actress and I love that she's a natural redhead. So that is my pick. Oh, you meant the voice actress? I was wondering if like uh, Mike was asking me about the voice actress, but then I was like, I just mentioned that I want a Mass Effect TV show. So I was like, maybe that's what he was asking, but yeah, or they were asking. So yeah, Karen Gillian is like my top pick. And also she's very athletic. She can like do her own stunts. So that is my choice. Uh, Cole, I did not see State of Play. I didn't see State of Play. The only thing that I saw um, video game news wise while I was gone was the trailer for Resident Evil 4 Remaster. And it looks so freaking good. And I am very excited. And if it's not as campy as I'm used to, I will fight someone. I will fight. She even shaved her head for that. See, that's commitment, okay? She can bulk up. Shepard's not even that bulky. Shepard just has like practical muscle. So she doesn't really have to like bulk up like crazy. So yeah, I want Fem Shep and it has to be Karen Gillian. Had bad luck with her projects. A lot of her movies have bombed. Unfortunately, but like I enjoy watching her movies whether they did well in the box office or not because the first movie that I think I saw her in was Oculus, the horror movie, which is a very good horror movie. If you like horror and you haven't seen Oculus, you absolutely should. And um, I think the last big thing I saw her in outside of Guardians was Jumanji. Uh, she watched the trailer for Final Fantasy 16. Is that a new Final Fantasy? Oh my God, there's so many of them. My hair was a little bit more red as a kid. It would be redder now if I went outside and I allowed the vitamin D and C to soak up and turn my hair more blonde. But um, yeah, I'm lazy. And I don't like the sun. I burn really easily, so I don't like going outside. It looked good, but it didn't look campy enough. It didn't look campy enough. They're, they're trying to make it more scary and like, I get it, but also I want it to be ridiculous. Oh, so you're like a chameleon with turning red? Yeah, yeah, I become like a lobster and it's terrible. Blonde thin. I was like a, a strawberry blonde as a child. And if I go outside, it would probably lighten my hair again, but like, no. Outside is scary. Yeah, Prize, the outside sucks. The outside is scary. It's hot out there. The sun will kill you. It just makes your skin red and blotchy. I don't like it out there. There's people outside. Uh, you roast the minute without thumb block. Understandable. Understandable. 
Uh, the one ridiculousness, they watch 80s horror. Italian horror? Oh my god, Italian horror with magenta blood. We have to add some of these. Surfer, you have to give me some um, recommendations because we have to add that to a watch list because that sounds very interesting. That sounds super interesting. Uh, get cooked in the sun quickly and get red as a lobster? Yes. Yes, and I hate it. I don't like going outside. Which is, I'm sure if I like committed to going outside, I'd probably tan easier. But that's like work. I get so bored tanning. I get so bored. I can't sit there. My brain will fry. Live in Virginia now, an hour outside and you're a lobster, but you've lived in Florida for eight years and could spend all day outside and wouldn't get burned once, no idea why. Um, I actually think I know the reason for that. The sun, there's a lot of reflection in Florida because we're constantly surrounded by oceans. So the sun rays tend to reflect off all the natural bodies of water in Florida. But in Virginia, and I used to live in North Carolina, so we have very similar circumstances. It's so insulated there because of all the trees that it retains heat. And it is so much hotter in like North Carolina and Virginia than it is in Florida because we just have so much room for air to go everywhere. It's so much more well ventilated and you just don't get as hot here. You, it might get as mucky because like swamps and everything, we have terrible humidity, but you don't get as hot. Mobile game, play some Apex. Uh, looks very cool and interesting. I'll have to check it out. The last Final Fantasy game that I played was Noctis's and I don't even think I beat it. I think I quit halfway through. I think I allowed myself to get a little too bored. Uh, I can go outside for 30 minutes and get a tan. I have gnarly farmer's tan. I used to have the worst tan when I played golf because like I was outside all the time in long sleeves and shorts and socks. I had the worst golfer's tan. Always get sunburned, but never in Florida. I can't explain why you'd never get a uh, sunburn in Florida. I actually don't know. Has your phone handled Diablo? Uh, NY Ripper is number one. This is even a spoiler. The killer makes Donald Duck noises? That's terrifying. That is, that is, hold up. I'm going to like pull up my sticky notes and save that as one because that sounds weird. Sounds like a lot. Back to work. Oh, no worries, Soul Blazer. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at work and we'll hopefully be seeing you later. Oh my God. Look at the trailer, it's in the trailer. <laughs> We'll have to watch it at some point. Never got sunburned in Florida, maybe because you never in Florida. Mike, that could be a good reason you never got sunburned in Florida because you're never in Florida. I would believe you. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Okay, we've been chatting for a couple of minutes now. What do you guys wanna do? I have on my computer, Stanley Parable, and the only reason we can't do Resident Evil is because I don't have my PlayStation hooked up right now because I don't have the equipment right now out of the box. But let me get everything to the side here. We've got Stanley Parable. We have more Eternal Threads. I got Hollow Knight and Poppy Playtime. Oh, and Call of Cthulhu. I still have Call of Cthulhu. Florida isn't hot. This humidity is horrible. The humidity is bad. It really is, but I don't get as hot here. Can I vote? Oh, we got to vote for Stanley Parable. We got to vote for Hollow Knight. The next, Raylan, I saw that. I actually did see the announcement and the fact that it's called uh, Dreadwolf is so exciting to me because I am a soulless stan. And if I cannot romance soulless, even though he's the bad guy, I will fight the developers. I will fight them. Okay. Uh, yes, let's do a poll. We'll do a poll for Stanley, Poppy, and Hollow Knight. Want a Call of Cthulhu? You also want more Call of Cthulhu? We'll have to add that. We'll do these three because I've already listed them. Okay, we've got a lot for Stanley already. So Stanley, Hollow Knight, and uh, Poppy. 
Poppy Guy might turn into a YouTube video if we don't end up playing it at some point. I need to be able to seduce Soulless into not causing the apocalypse. Cobble, correct. If I cannot seduce my ex-boyfriend, it's not worth it. Also, is there any confirmation of whether or not we're going to be playing as our Inquisitor or is it someone new? Because if it's a new person, I don't want to romance my ex. I only want to romance my ex as the Inquisitor. That is my, that is my line. What are these games about Dragon Age? Uh, essentially every time you play, your mage stabs you in the back. Every time. It's always the mage. No details yet. I'll be a new person based on the trailer talking about how there's a new hero. Damn it. I don't want to play as someone new. I want to play as the Inquisitor. Even though I think I abolished the Inquisition in the DLC. I don't remember. Uh, Thor... Callum? What's up? How are you doing? Watching the Sekiro playthrough. Absolutely love that game. Thor, the rest of it is here on Twitch saved as a highlight because I have not edited the rest of it for YouTube, but it's all saved here as a highlight if you ever want to watch the rest of them. Uh, did you play? We did play RE6. We played through uh, Leon's quest and then we jumped into Chris. And unfortunately, we, it got really messed up because uh, we ended up having a lot of connection issues the moment we became Chris. So my last stream actually ended early. So we have a lot more of RE6 to get through. Oh, Mike, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Give me Morrigan or give me death. Respectable response. Respectable response. I didn't even play the original three games, but like Morrigan is a classic. Arash, how are you doing? Welcome in. Seem like play literal library shelf for the games. Uh, definitely if we're talking about the PS2 from the Xbox 360 era, I played a lot of games, but um, recently not that many over the past few years, purely because college killed me. What about RE Outbreak? I have not played Outbreak. Morgan's hot, she is hot. Inquisition, who's the Grand Inquisitor? I am. Okay, I think Stanley Parable is probably going to win this. I'm gonna leave this going for a couple more. We'll leave it going for another minute. If you're here and you wanna vote on the game because only like 27 people have voted, do it now. Even if you're just like watching and uh, lurking, that way you can have a vote as well. Okay, I'm going to be back in half a second. I'm gonna go find a straw for this coffee because right now I'm just drinking the liquefied ice out of it and that's no fun. And then I will be right back. So when we're done, what, oh, what kind of college? Who's the murderer? At my college, I hope there was no murderer, but who, how the hell do I know? Ted Bundy uh, used my college to find his victims. So there could be a new Ted Bundy. I hope not. But you never know. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to go find a straw. I'm going to run to the restroom and we will be right back. There's more votes for Stanley Parable. If you want to dispute that, you better vote now. There's 110 of you. Some of you might be bots. Bots, if you want to vote, you totally can. It's completely up to you. You live your own bot life. I'll be right back.
save the turtles. Must use metal straw. The chair's name? I believe chat named it Charles or Charlie. Oh yeah, that's so much better when you can actually drink from the bottom. Can I bribe you to get more votes? Herder, how much we talking and where you want to vote? Oh wait, Stanley won. How much you want to bribe me for though? I'm saying these coffees are expensive. I'm just joking with you. Unless no. <laughs> you named it Chippendale Blizz? Like the dancers or like Chippendale? I hope it's after the dancers. Save the turtles, pierce the eyes of humans. Bah. Okay. Let me. It's gonna be so weird trying to get comfortable in this new setup. Cause it just feels, it feels like normal, but also it's not. I wasn't listening to this. This song's kind of a bop. What? I normally don't like um, a lot of chilled music, but this is kind of a bop. Okay, how do I make it shut up though? <laughs> Like, I'm enjoying it, but like, also be quiet. What do you know about Stanley Parable? Nothing, actually. I know that there's a hole you can jump into multiple times and the game gets mad at you. But that's about it. And I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, did someone ask my height? Yeah, everyone's short compared to me. I'm kind of a god. I'm kind of insane. That camera is also too close to me, but that is a fix we will do not now. There's too much going on to try to fix things now. Pretzel, what the hell? Oh, early morning by Ruck P. Cool vibes. Okay, it's time for like one of my favorite things I can do now. I'm gonna take you guys and I'm gonna put you over here. And then I'm gonna open. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, where did you guys go? I lost you. Oh, found you. <laughs> oh my God, so much new thing to figure out here. What kind of music is my go-to? I listen to a lot of, I listen to indie music, but it's not this kind of like EDM house indie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I definitely don't think I can play my music. I've seen a lot more streamers like playing regular music now, but it's always the big streamers. So I don't know if there's some type of new privilege in doing that, that you have to like, have some type of partnership or something. But I've been, I always watch Sweet Tales when I have the free time because I'm just in love with her. She's an amazing streamer. But um, she's been playing a lot of like regular radio music and nothing ever happens. So I don't know if there's anything new to that. So yeah, if I can play my own music at some point, then that would be kind of a vibe. Listen to The National? I do not, but many people have told me that I need to because it's right along my lines. I can do it too! Lazi, please share your secrets with me because I've been seeing people do it and I don't know how. Okay, before we really get into it, let me see if I can get into my Spotify account. I won't play anything because I don't want to get in trouble, but I'll show you guys. I don't want... Oh God, it's going to make me... I hate that I made my Spotify account way back in the day when I was uh, using Facebook like years ago. So now if I want to get into my Spotify, I got to remember what the hell my Facebook password is. And I don't I don't use Facebook. Ooh, wait. Oh, this is awesome. OK, I guessed it. I guessed it. VODs won't have music on it, but it means you don't get copy. Ooh, thank you. That is actually fine because more, I need to, um, 
make more uh, highlights and I end up cutting the just chatting out of highlights anyway. That way people who are coming over to like just watch the gameplay, they will just be able to watch the gameplay. So I would end up cutting out the parts where the music would be anyway. That's not what I want. Stop moving screens. Okay. Let me open this up really quick. Way to make them. Ah. I do use OBS. I use uh, not Streamlabs, I use Studios. Open web player. Okay. Let's see what I can get without getting in trouble. Wait a minute, where's my playlist? Did something eat it? Send music. Uh, let's see. This is like my general playlist, but I haven't added to it in a very, very long time. Got a lot of banks. Um, let's see. Revan Kim. Wizard. I need to reorganize this because there's so many different uh, songs in here that aren't part of my like regular vibe. They're just kind of like a general playlist. Gotta have Shaggy. I have so many Shaggy songs. I grew up listening to Shaggy. Probably shouldn't have, but I did and I loved it. Oh, before we get started, I also have this light, but it's only going to be good for when I have blackout curtains because the light's a little bit distorted right now. It's one of those galaxy lights, but yeah. When I finally get those blackout curtains and this room is not lit the way it is, this will make a lot more sense. Always great. Robert Duck, what is up? How are you doing? I love this thing. It's so cool. I might just leave it on and we'll see how it changes as um, the sun starts to go down and this window stops putting out so much light despite the fact that it has blinders on it. Uh, let's see. Let me close. I probably shouldn't have closed that out, actually. Oh, well, if it was important, I'll remember it later. I say with not that much confidence in my ability to remember it later. Um, I've been busy shopping. Yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. Youngsters moved to Facebook just uh, so become boomers can take their place. This thing that happened to TikTok later because I definitely not want to witness that. There is a lot of boomers on TikTok and they're really funny. I love older people on TikTok. I think they're hilarious. Okay. Let us open Sesame. Okay, let's see. Which one of these was the correct thingamabob? <laughs> hmm. Okay, we definitely want subtitles. Oh no, hold up. How do I make this? Oh, okay. I'm still learning the whole dual monitor situation. Okay, let me make sure that the game is actually putting out music before I, not music, but sound before I get started. Let's see, we want sound from the Omen. Yeah, okay. And then this is my browser. And then I'm, oh wait, no. Move you guys over here. Oh my God, dual monitors are the best. Jen Von Lee, how are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well on this fun Monday. Getting back into the swing of things. It's definitely going to be an adjustment, but it's like fun. It's fun to learn like new things, I guess. And it does feel very new. Have I played Stanley Parable before? No. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. I can do that. Okay. Yeah, Stanley. I'm very excited because I actually know nothing about Stanley Parable. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We want six and it's currently, no, stop it, 50. We'll go with 59 because it's about to be 59. 
I think this is the ultra deluxe version. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure it is. Accessibility settings can be, okay, from the main menu. Sheldon, uh, welcome in, by the way. Stanley's a great game. I'm very excited. Oh, thank you for fixing the game thing. Yeah, the ultra edition. Okay, am I at work? Is that, oh my God, there's an infinity screen. Hi. <laughs> okay. Do I just have to be a menace in the workplace? Is this the point of this game? Because if so, I'm going to be great at it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. <laughs> he types like my dad. <laughs> how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. It's so adorable. And others might have considered it soul-winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Are we a clone made exactly for this job? Are we and an then Android? one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Sarah, but as how he you came doing? to his What's wits up, and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. The voice in my head is telling me I need to leave my office. I hate Mondays. It's Monday, though. I have... Okay, um... There is no game. I have seen a couple people playing that recently, and I would like to try it. Can I break the window? Why does it sound like typing on a keyboard when I click? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, someone was downloading something. It's a mystery. Okay, meeting room. Okay, that's... Don't know why the files are on the floor. Someone wasn't doing their job properly. Ooh. I want, ooh. I want to go back there. I can't jump. No. Okay, I need to go up this way. The open door is the answer. It's a nice leaf. Narrator and similar stuff. We'll have to check it out. Oh, wait, wait. Can I get up there? Dang it. Okay. Okay. Sales this quarter. Oh no, do we work in sales? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You're not the boss of me. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I want to go this way. Stop showing me rooms that I can't get to. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Wee! You're not the boss of me. Uh, did I do something? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room <laughs> so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I, I like it here, voice. I really like... This photo of the ocean, okay? 
It's kind of boring. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Excuse me, you dick? I have great attention to detail. I am looking at this notepad. I am looking Stan at this leaf. Waiting for more dialogue. Yes, I am. When a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. The game? Well, that's funny, because the game isn't the boss of me. I, I'm officially the boss of me. By, like, rules of hierarchy, if no one else is at work and I'm the only person here, I'm the boss now. Can't tell me what to do, voice in my head. Coffee nut. I need that mug. Dang it, it's gonna make me leave, isn't it? I want the number one dad mug. I can't believe it's telling me what to but do. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. <gasps> What's that, though? Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> okay, but like I never had to leave my desk, so this isn't my fault. Oh, wait. Caution, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I love spiders. Spiders are amazing creatures, and they all deserve to live. You can't tell me that I'm lying. Ooh. I'm gonna go over there. Do not jump from the cargo lift while in motion will cause death penalty. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000 for jumping. Okay, how are you gonna penalize me for killing myself? <laughs> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. They do. <laughs> no! Did it take me back to my desk? Damn it, I'm gonna do exactly what I did All before. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Not doing it. Not doing it. You can't tell me what to do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, no. he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. My therapist said I shouldn't listen to the voices in what? my head. Yes, this room. Too but late, I'm gone. To back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, okay. it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've me. gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Lies. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I want to go this way. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? <laughs> really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? <laughs> Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. No! Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. He's trying to show me capitalism. I don't want to work here anymore. I could have gone that way. Okay, I'm going this way. Defiant simulator? I'm having a lot of fun being defiant. Okay. Voice, where are we going? Tell me directions so that I can do the opposite. What if I'm trying to escape work? And what if the voice doesn't want me to escape work? Now listen carefully, this is important. Got you. Stanley walked through the red door. No. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Excuse you? I am not for this dimension warping bullshit. I want to go through the blue door. I still don't think ah. we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. 
Uh, Stole Blazer, I didn't do the art. It's from an app on my phone that you can take photos and you can cartoon them. Give me a second, I'll tell you what type of app it is, because they have some really cool uh, filters and stuff. Uh, the name of the app is... I might have deleted it. Prequel. It's called Prequel. It's a really cool app. It's got a bunch of different types of filters. Um... I don't want to go this way. <gasps> I found the blue door! <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Do you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? <laughs> yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. I don't and care. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. I like it here. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I do like skill Tell trees. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Let's there go. we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. This door looks like it wants to murder me. I don't. I don't like this voice. I don't like this door. This rickety, weird door. Looks like I'm about to go into someone's cabin where they're gonna kill me in the basement. Go. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Ooh. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? I like Feel it. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, I don't want to be mean and pick one. You know what? He put a lot of time and effort into this. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? I have no How idea. Did I know the game needed a third door. You're a genius. Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. I didn't yeah, want to teach anyway. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Okay. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with mm. this one. Let's take a look. Ah. Stanley Parable, Worldwide Leaderboard. I want to be on the leaderboard. Good old Neil is offline. 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 Don't scroll so fast. Stop it. Did you know 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your... I don't want to. I want to... You are currently... That's rude. My friends list is emptied. You don't have to tell me that. Okay, fine. Go this way. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, <laughs> and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Let's go. Oh, shit. In oh. this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Okay. You click the button to move him back to the right. Okay. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Got it. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Okay. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Okay. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Got it. I hate children. Go into the fire, baby. Be free. You Be free. Bastard. What? Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. 
I'm no! Out. I'm done. No, come back! It's over. No! Thank you for playing. Your input was don't extremely leave me. valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. No! Let's see. <laughs> come back! <laughs> I don't want to yes. be alone. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. That was really his fault. That was bad design. He didn't know his audience. I wasn't even going to be spiteful that time, but he like... Aha, Wait! What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? Where what is am our I? motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems mm. obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Mm. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stan. Me too. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. I've always wanted to visit a fire tower, but like, I like Wi-Fi too much, you know? Ooh. Ah. Nature. Oh, dang it. Okay. I also have not played Firewatch. I've seen a little bit of it way back in the day, but I never watched the, a full playthrough of it. But it did look really good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It can't be. What? Voice, where am I going? Oh, I'll go this way. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. No, no, oh. you can't keep me here. Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh. I hate you. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. There's a crack in the wall. It's now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. No. Let's find another game. Stanley, squeeze. Probably something with walls. Something Stanley. With nice, big, insurmountable walls. Stanley, mm -hmm. get your thighs through. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this will be just the thing. I don't like him. Stop. Oh, no, no. Is this Rocket League? Wonderful. I don't See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. I hate it. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Lucian, thank you so much for the three months. I have to find a way to get lost. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, run Stanley, the bases? here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got to make a goal. I got to make a goal. Yeah, Stanley, go. Go, Stanley! You're the best human you car ball you thing Is this ever. Fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. No. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, yeah. but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. No, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Yes. Oh, God, now I have oh, two. Oh, goodness, that really does feel Whee. amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. What if I just refuse to interact? Will you be angry? Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not the boss of me, voice in my head. Oh God, where am I? Wait. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. No. You're not my, oh God, where am I going? I didn't mean to fall down that second hole. 
I have been falling for 30 minutes. Oh. I don't like it here. It's dark. Ooh. Ooh. This reminds me of the creepy pasta back rooms. Oh, I found light. I found light. I did get disco lights. They're gonna look better when like the light is all out of this room. I found my office. I go back to work. Uh, ooh. Creepy. Okay, we got lights. There's gotta be a horror aspect of this, right? Oh my god, it's dark. I wonder what he found. Danger. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Lies. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Why did that sound so menacing? Wait. See, I knew I couldn't trust you boys in my head. That's why I ran away. Okay, where am I now? No, it brought me back to the beginning. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. No. Nothing will hurt me. Lies. Nothing will break me. Lies. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. No. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. I just like you. Here it comes. Oh. Will you stop turning the lights out? It's very disorienting. This is my office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? You sent me back to Stanley the beginning. Stanley to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before, but when this Stanley time I'm not gonna to jump to off the platform. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee Disgusting lounge Disgusting behavior, just trying to, to tell me how to do my job. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What, but no. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay. The plan is to not jump off. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Oh, thank you, Sensei. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Okay, we go that way. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Uh, uh, we talking like an ex-girlfriend or like a demon? I, I don't, I don't like it. 
Ah. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Can I unplug the phone? As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Oh, you no. You actually chose incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. I just didn't want the phone to be oh, ringing. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. I wanted Music a divorce. In, fate to white, roll credits. No. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? <laughs> None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. What's wrong? Have I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I'm not Stanley. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate no. you properly on safe decision making no. in the real world. No. Please observe this helpful instructional video. No. Choice. I don't want to watch the best an information. Part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Rupert he looks could invent stupid. a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. <laughs> if you find I yourself like that, speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. <laughs> Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis hey. is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Look at this one, Most kitty. medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Gotcha. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful mm -hmm. and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, Probably not. just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant Facts. and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. I can't wait to fail. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Ooh. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. I don't want to listen to him. Oh, d am I supposed to get back on the platform? Why'd you put guardrails on the platform? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Yes, it would. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Ned Stark did it. It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Imagine if I just... Oh, you lucky. <laughs> I literally can't fit through here. Now, what happens if I get back on it? Oh, dang it. It just didn't restart the ride. Okay. Is it going to make me go back and choose the door? 
Boys, I don't like that you're corralling me, okay? I'm not a cow. I'm Almost a person. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yep. he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What's this? What about that? Oh, dang it. You're not fun, voice. Okay, how can I mess it up this time? Ooh. Oh, oh. It's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Ooh, R&D of a new coffee machine. What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Mm -hmm. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? No. To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. No. What's the answer? What do I do? I want to hang I out do? more. Do I... Don't make me leave. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. No, you don't. You don't have to do anything. Choice is the construct. He shut the game down. Ooh. Scary. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. No. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Not really. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. I mean, yeah, kind oh, of. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... Oh, no, I want to go back. Revan, how are it's you doing? Exactly What's up? Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Underground facility. If you lied to me, I'm going to fight you. I want to see an underground facility. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling Ooh. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. No, I need to figure out how to not get fired. How to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers, resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Facts. Using slide to ensure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic. It's the header and throw some blue. Okay. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Apparently not. You won't let me make my own choices, you bastard. Okay. Next slide. Next slide. Yay. Number of slides on this slide. Slides, charts, charts, and slides. Yep. You know what? I got a degree in this. It makes sense. Do it again. Rate right at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. Kind of facts. They always do. Synergy. Ooh. Rate of increased graphics per slide. Ooh. Please, more charts. I do like charts. 
Boss Appreciation Minute. Your Boss Appreciation Minute worksheet circled the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Okay. What if we don't like our boss? What do we do then? Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in conflict with another employee, more inclined toward conflict unless you're the kind of person who initiates conflict, I kind of am. Ooh, what are your dreams? I swear, I hate this slide. I really do, but also I like it. Okay. Let's see. Buy quarterly post review review. Tips for not getting fired. Don't get fired. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day. No obsession. Okay. We are employee of the month. We need less reviews. Want to get rid of deaf sport portion in the primary review schedule? But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water, water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip. To appeal to the teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in the teenage demographic. <laughs> Space between the teenagers. I love it. I love it. Okay, wait. No more bins, trash cans, renaming of the idea bin, fixing me. Fixing me? Oh, interesting. Throw something in the idea bin. I'm going to read all of these. Do not alter without uh, consulting the whiteboard manager. Erase something. Do it, Stanley. Erase it. We don't need to have a floors meeting. Erase it. Okay, fine. Push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. That sounds amazing. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Synergize paper. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire someone to fire the paper guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets and the topic of... Who erased it? Damn it. Okay, I keep going. All right, voice, I'm doing as you say now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You told me I was... Oh, this is a new room. But you lied to me. You said we were going to an underground facility. Oh, this is kind of creepy. You in the new place in your home state? How much distance did I put? Quite a bit. Quite a bit of distance. I'm not completely moved in yet. I still have a lot more that needs to be done. But yeah, at least three good states of distance. Is this my boss's office? Why has my boss got nice wallpaper? Actually, this looks like the wallpaper in the Haunted Mansion. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Okay. Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Do I have to do it? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Come on, Stanley, you can do it. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Stanley can't speak. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. It's not my fault. Stanley doesn't like talking. Why isn't Okay, it... fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. <laughs> the kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Stanley can't talk! If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted I did there. do that, why and then you, you whined about it. Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... I did do what I wanted, and you cried about it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Stanley, don't do it. Be free, Stanley. Be free. Stanley? Hello? Are Be you... free, Stanley. Is everything okay? Good night, Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. What? Are you listening to me? No. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. No. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand? This is not the end. The you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Stanley, you don't listen to him. Stanley, don't you do it. Do something? I'm in charge here, Stanley. This is more important than you can ever know. Let him cry about it. I need this. No, he doesn't. The story needs it. He's a liar. So, you hear me? Are you there? I still got more endings, okay? I gotta answer the phone, and then I have to go through the the red door? I have to go through a door. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. He's a liar. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Why the hell do you sound so sad? Take as much time as you need. Stanley! Oh. Okay. We got two more things I need to try. Outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Probably Stanley three more things. I couldn't do anything as Stanley to talk about the code. We're doing this when though. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not, not my the mom. Way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted want. to stop by the employee lounge first. Just to admire it. Oh, when you got here, I was playing Rocket Standing League. Now in this incredible room, Yo, late. First, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Is the any of the game? Oh wait, did I go this way? I didn't go this way. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But this has a shiny button. Yeah, a button. Where are we going? I would hate to be this but guy. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. No. He wanted to wander about yeah. and get even further off track. Yeah. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Okay, that's the only door we're going. Oh, no. Oh. No, it's to the right, my mistake. You're a liar. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? I'm gonna slip through. It's clearly. I'm gonna slip oh, through. Dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? He's ruining my exploration. Let's see. We went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Yes, I've got it now. Okay. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Uh. Okay. Don't, not sure that I like this. Ooh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. No. Okay, I like okay, it here. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to. Um, Ooh, someone oh. got fired. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Fired. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense? We'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! This time, Stop it! Suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Stop trying to tell me what to do. All of his co-workers were gone. Dang it, it sir. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Bet I was a difficult was child. No! I was an amazing child. I'm a difficult adult. <laughs> this when cool. Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Voice, I think Everything you messed up. Be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Not that I did know you of. Move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah, take responsibility. Right a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Oh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Let's do it. Okay, we'll go this way. Okay, okay. We're in the back rooms. Isn't there like a demon in the back rooms or something? 
I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. I'll go this way. Boys, I'm getting lost. As Barbosa once said, you have to be good and lost to find something no one's ever found before. Let's go. Wait. Everyone knows what you did. They're I'll just holding it. back to let this you torture yourself. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No! Stop touching well, I it! It's unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. No! Stop Actually, touching let's it! Let's give it a shot. Why not? No! Dang you! Stop touching it! You can only All restart it so many times! Done. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I thought that was something new. It might be something new. Okay, voice, don't touch it anymore. Let me do it. Oh, see, look what you okay, did. Now there's not a door. Worse. I might be remembering this. Dumbass. Morning. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? You can't just turn around. Dang it, boys. I had a good thing going. And then you kept restarting. This is all your fault. You should have just let me do what I wanted to do. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Oh. Never mind. Not the story. This is a wall. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. These aren't my steps. There's only so far I can go, voice. Ooh, new room. Oh no, now I'm this... back to the wood room. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Oh no, you know voice. What? Why are you forgetting? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing. How about this? Okay. You win! Congratulations! That's so fun! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. No. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for I that win. I didn't. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. It's not gonna end well. We did win, and then he keeps, ooh. All right, I've got a solution. Okay. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Yeah. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay, I can do that. Yeah! Lines! Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, Uh, I want to go that way. Okay. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Yeah, I hope you have a good night and thank you so much you for see, hanging out. The line knows where the story is. It's mm -hmm. over in this direction. Mm -hmm. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence. Facts. Right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? More than whoa, likely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Boys, I can't go this way. Hold up. One. Okay, I had to fix the sound. 
Voice, this song is really annoying. Stop, boys, turn it off. Boys, make it stop. I'm gonna follow the line, just you shut up. I hate it here. Now I'm gonna go this way. Damn it, okay, you gotta go this way. I'm speeding along. I don't like the victorious music. It sucks here. What the hell? Oh no, not a peer review. Oh shit. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Voice, I don't know where I'm going. It's getting trippy in here. Cut the music. Please. Go back and look at that fern. What fern? This fern? This fern will be very important later in the story. Okay. Make sure you study it closely. Okay. And remember it carefully. Got you. You won't want to miss anything. Got you. Okay. You have approximately more than ten leaves. Okay, I can remember that. You are a nice green color. Carter, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, yeah, this is this is a nice fern. Okay, I will remember Fern. I'm gonna name him Fern. Wait, no. We're back at the office. Oh, oh, uh, no, uh, uh. no, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story. Is okay. any of this ringing a bell? Boys. Getting really lost here. Oh, hey, we made it back to the room. No, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, <laughs> after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Don't we... No, damn it, stop that. You can't just restart every time you get it wrong. That's not how life works, stupid voice. You know what, stop oh. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Not really. Now we make up our own story. Because so you won't let me. Daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? I've been wanting to wander since I got here and you said no. You put me on a child leash. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path a new story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New story. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Cowboys. Ninjas. Be, I'm ready for it. Ninjas. We need ninjas. Oh, no. Not you Oh, God, again. the line's back. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome mm -hmm. new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Yeah. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. It's kind of hard to not acknowledge it. It's very eye-catching. Oh, the sound. Should I turn it back up? Why does he choose the most random times to have a low voice? Okay, let's see. Let's see if that fixes the problem. Oh god, the line the line's going somewhere again. Voice! Wait, what? Oh, I got confused. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Okay. So I know that each door Wee. has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a <laughs> I'm go the other way. door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? What? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Which one? Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Dang it, you wouldn't even open the other one. Ooh, the, the confusion the ending. Hmm. hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? 
It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times. Ooh. That's really Stanley dies. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank. Yeah. Here you this, tell him, voice. Thing. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? Yeah, voice. They're not the boss of us. I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I Hell yeah, voice. It. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'm proud of you. And the time return oh. stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I, I, I don't know. We so, should break out of here. Okay. No, voice, don't give up. I'll we have to leave. Wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. Boys, we'll we need to out, leave. We? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do... Oh no, the game restarted it. This isn't my office. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly oh, well. Oh, no. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt Okay, like everything looks normal. Eyes in his stomach, giddy, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. We do it? And so he detoured we go through this the way. maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, I am back on track. It's boring. I don't want to go that way. No. Dang it. I need to get back to the phone. And the blue and the red door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is new. Hmm. Go this way. Oh, gotta readjust. Hey, I but found a car. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? True. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Oh. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Happened in Avengers? And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh my god, I wish why you hadn't told me that. Automatically behind him wherever he went. That's a great question. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the oh. tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. That doesn't this sound right. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. No, we're totally crazy. To himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh! Ah, he make it stop! he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still Ooh. not woken up. 
How was he remaining so lucid? No, bring it back. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Okay. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing? I thought that was normal. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Hmm. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make Master the magical Chief, it's stars going just well. a I'm still in the process of moving in, though. Explain all that. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just, he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That yeah. This was a dream. In control. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. I better not be back in my office. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Lucid dreaming. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. I don't want to push it's the all buttons. I want. No, it's not. I want my apartment. And my wife and my job all i want is my life exactly the way it's always been my life is normal i am normal everything will be fine i don't like this i am okay oh oh boys 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 them in the same place Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. <laughs> I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. Oh, I God. must be oh, real. God. I oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. No, not fair. I'm getting tired of this voice telling me what to do. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What happened to Stanley? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. That's Stanley. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. <laughs> this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Oh, I am no. sane. I am in control of my mind. Are you sure? I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran a moment of self-reflection over this dead man and then you just leave understandable okay how many more endings are there? Stanley because I will never find seen the them. This brightly lit. Oh, was it a sign of something? This is he new. Hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. That's new. That's new. Okay. There's a lot of. Actually, there's a lot of white windows. Am I dead, narrator? Am I really dead? Narrator. Narrator, I'm gonna go to the right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And now... The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. 
It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. The fuck voice? That, what I want in new- but Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Boys, you're kind of weirding me out sometimes. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay. I think I should throw myself over the side again. I'm gonna do it. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Okay, so that's Good the job, same. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Of course I am. I'm in charge here. Okay, we get back to the Stanley red and the blue door. To, go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. You can't gaslight me, voice. I don't need other people. I'm a loner. I'm a gamer. You think I talk to other people? Hell no. You can't gaslight me. Came to a You're not the boss of me. This was not the correct way going to the meeting way. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. Okay, we're well. going back Perhaps to the blue and the red door. The first, I think I remember how to get there. It. And here it was, the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, what a room. What a room. I'll sit here until you run out of Va -va breath. Boom. What a room. Va -va boom. Okay. Now. But eager to get back to business. I do not Stanley jump off the again. First open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay. I think Stanley, I have to I jump. Perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I believe you. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. Uh -huh. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yep, okay. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration Danger everywhere. For are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Okay, we're back. Let me prove it. Let's go. Let me prove that I'm on your side. I'm ready. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm ready. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Fine. Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing Whee! right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... Oh. I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. No. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. No. Here. Let me show you. No. Oh god. Oh god, that's a yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that either, but I'll do it. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Uh I found yeah. space. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here. Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> okay, I'm like kind of mesmerized. But like, I want to go that way. Ooh, the lights. Ooh, pretty lights. Ooh, <gasps> more pretty lights! Voice, I like it here. Why do I feel like we're about to get evaporated? I don't... You know what? I'm not sure I trust that. I feel like I'm about to die. Voice, do you have any more thoughts? 
Oh god. Oh no, the pretty lights are leaving. Oh, now there's green lights. Oh god, pretty lights are gone. Okay, now it's green light. Ooh. Uh. Oh, oh. Okay. I leave now. No, wait. Where are you going? This way. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I'm not gonna die. Don't be such a worry wart. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh, oh, I'm gonna throw myself off the side. Oh, oh, what you gonna offer me to not do it? Oh, come on, voice, make me a deal. Room reminds you of the beginner's guide. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Uh... No! Bam. Oh. oh, hey! Thank God you lived. You mm. had me worried there for a moment. Now, no. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? It's the circle of Stanley. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I'll go stare at it. Oh my yes. God, Stanley's moving Perhaps so slow. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. <gasps> What happens if I throw myself off the side here? You'll see, you'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Ooh. What happens if I leave? Oh! Boys! I kind of feel bad for Stanley. He's like hobbling because I threw him off stairs several times. And now I'm about to go do it again. But first I want to watch this glowing donut disappear. Ooh, the pretty lights are back. Okay. If that's all this is, we're going back. No, perhaps not. Oh, the slow walking. Done. 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 Oh my god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? I mean, it's nothing against you. I was having fun before you kept resetting the game. Whee! Well, oh! Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Oh. Poor guy. He sounds really sad. Don't worry, but I'll set us both free with the power of height. Is it over? It's going Damn. to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Why does he sound so sad? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> new content! Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I don't know, but we're going. Oh my god, it's a ride! Narrator, it's a ride! Where the hell are we going? Ooh. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable 
Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Yeah, Ultra Deluxe. Better than regular Deluxe. Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. New content! Oh, well, new this content! delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. It's gonna take me right back to the office! Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. It's... oh, oh. Boys, we're not moving. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... should we be moving somewhere? Or, oh. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. New content! I'll bet myself twenty dollars it's going mm. back to the office. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. <laughs> it's as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. I like to think I just think outside. Oh, it's a jump circle. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Yay! New content! Jumping! I wanna jump over here. Wait, I can only jump in the jump circle? That's some bullshit! What? Why can I only jump inside the jump circle? I'm gonna keep going though. Wait. Oops. Can I unplug it? Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Stupid jump circle. No! I broke it! I broke the jump circle! I didn't know it was a countdown! Oh, damn it, I broke the jump circle. Hmm. This isn't fair! Unplug it. Unplug it. Narrator, give me more jumps. That was stupid. Goodness. Another elevator. <laughs> Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. I know! It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. That Please don't do that. Of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. Don't do the it. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Did another it's... jump circle. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. Also, where's I'm that fern? Where's a fern? Thank you for no. Damn That's it! Where's it? the fern? No, oh, you've got to be kidding me! You see, Stanley, this is what happens when greedy video game developers, with no respect for their fan base, rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In <laughs> fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, "Test achievement, please ignore." <laughs> Quality Assurance Department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter oh. and hold them personally accountable. Not Twitter. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? No. And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? No, don't you do it. I hate you. Oh. Narrator! This isn't the office. This is a photo of my office. New content! Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! That sounds shady as hell. Okay, but I want to I want to play in the vent. How do? Oh, I don't even have to. Okay, I don't have to crouch. 
coffee mug. Vent. Okay, where are we going? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Yeah. We got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. What the it's hell, over. narrator? I mean, it's really cool. Ooh. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Cool. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. I actually do not remember, but okay, I will take your word for it. Ooh, British Academy Film and Television of Arts. Oh, it's just, it's taped over Stanley Parable. No, it was The Last of Us and they taped it over for Stanley Parable. I love that. Look at that. Oh, man. Good times. Memory lane. Smile because it happened. It's a dollar. Ooh. Go outside. Don't play for five years. Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. What if I ask nicely? Ooh. British Academy Award. Nominee. Nominee. New video game releasing today. Creator surprisingly down to earth. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. Oh, hey, it's me when I died. Wait a minute, you jackass. Why is this part of your favorite memory collection? That's rude and inconsiderate. Ooh. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game <laughs> ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator <laughs> content. I like the elevator content. What's down there? I want to go in maintenance. Okay, look at more photos. Hey, that's Portal. <laughs> Why is this part of your memory bank? Let's see. Oh, there's Minecraft. Let's begin again. Okay, more doors. Top memories. Spook, how are you doing? The move was very stressful and it still is, but we're slowly getting there. Uh, ooh, hey, it's the lady who was looking over my dead body. How are you doing? Person of the year, Stanley. Okay, ooh, that's a nice car. What else is around here? We got the Stanley Parable set. Uh, a countdown? Concerning. Oh, my new background with all my boxes. My box collection. It'll slowly morph into something else, but right now it's my fantastic. box collection. This time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To like spend the, the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, uh, add a command for the move. I don't mind answering questions. Uh, game, I can't go that way. Game. Narrator. I can't go to the serious room. I used all my jumps. Can I go to maintenance? Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. Huh? I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. It's new content. What's this? What's down here? Ooh. Oh no. Oh god, no. Reviews. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the <laughs> online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? We'll find some. We'll figure it out. Okay, what's it say? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny. Rude. With his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. I'm not trying to be funny. Oh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. I think you're funny, voice. What's this say? Oh wait, I can't read it. I think you're funny and that's all that matters. And you wrote a review on the game or not? Sure wasn't... Oh, you're sure if you did it was glowing? What's this one say? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? No. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Book, have a good night. Thank you for dropping in. Ooh, another review. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. No, you don't. Just cut him a off. Skip button. A skip button. Well, well, yes, yes. I think we can do that. No. Well, surely too preachy. Then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment. Surely it couldn't hurt. No. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive oh, reviews oh of God, the oh That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. The customer is stupid. We're not skipping. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna see what's over here. There's nothing over here. It's gonna make me use the skip button. Narrator, I don't want to do it. And here it is. Ooh, Go tree. ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. 
and it goes something like this. Okay. The story and the choices or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, uh -huh. at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. If you start doing we that, I will skip it. Just yet, no, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all <laughs> until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I, I start to go off again. on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this. <laughs> Cookie 9. And they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever... Why can't I touch things okay, besides the button? Back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means but it's well there's really only so much i can ramble on to myself about oh the door is gone easy. but at any rate i do suggest she games too how are you doing what's up the, skip button the move was decent and we can say goodbye to it and just wait how do we get out of here i don't know that's what Where i'm wondering i have no idea Wasn't there a door that led into this room yes there was i do feel quite certain that there was one here before how else would we have gotten into the room in the first place i don't think one can enter a room without a narrator let stanley, me out stanley 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 please don't push the button again it's been 12 hours okay you've just been frozen there I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. What if we skip I until the door comes back? Angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. I'll there's make a door. And the back. Oh, Stanley. Oh. You're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week, or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've all My been evil doing? self? Just talking. I have done nothing it's evil this entire time. Evil. I have been a perfectly because reasonable I know Stanley. You can't hear me once you push that button. Like this. I've been a perfectly reasonable Stanley. Say Cynthia. Did no, my government no, name? It's you. You're here again. Welcome. My I government name is in a comment. About you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? No. Let me describe it for you. I really don't want you to. There is only regret. We. Are you done talking? Wait. Narrator. Narrator. Narrator.
Starlight, hi, how are you doing? Where's the pee pee? Oh no. Narrator. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It He's was meant back. to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down. Oh, 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 damn it. I killed him again. Narrator. Narrator, come back. Narrator, come back. You can blame it all on Stanley. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. Sounding a little bit like Madara Uchiha there. Oh, oh no! Narrator! Narrator! Pay attention to me. Oh, oh. Narrator. Narrator. I think I broke it. Narrator, come back. Oh, it's take time. I'm so lonely. Narrator. What will I do without your annoying voice? Come back. Oh. Narrator, I've taken up gardening. You'd be so proud of me. Oh no, my garden's gone. I failed. Narrator. Narrator. Narrator, just restart the game, dude. I don't want you to restart it, but like, I want you to restart it now. You guys also hearing the monster noises? Oh. Oh no, my button. Oh. Okay. Narrator! I'm in an open world game! I wanna go back! I'll go back and I'll answer the phone and I won't unplug it again and we can talk to my wife. Narrator! I'm just gonna walk off into the distance. How many things of mine did I break during the move? None. I take care of my own stuff. Oh god. Narrator! Did you restart the game? <gasps> Narrator! All of his co workers. Oh, yay! What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I was worried the narrator was going to be gone forever. Ooh, new, new content. I like the shiny sign. My sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Okay, we get back on the ride. Yay, ride time. Now we're on to the new, new content. Maybe Davy Jones Locker, but I break everyone else's. I only break the new, new content. Okay, go this way. Narrator, talk to me. Where are we you going? You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. I like the it. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Narrator with a light go. why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Ooh, let's go this way. Investor Showcase. 
The end is never yes, the end again. Isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. <laughs> Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Yeah, taste the sequel. Two, du, du, du. okay, it's just a bunch of twos. Okay. Calling it the Stanley Parable Two is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable Two. Now, I almost bought this same couch. Statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Oh, making Bioshock 4 open world? Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Sometimes when games start off linear, it doesn't make sense to make them open world later. Like Mirror's Edge is a very good example of that. I love the first Mirror's Edge, but the sequel that was open world, I got bored so easily. New content is out. New content is in. Okay. I'm going to read your whiteboard. Paradigm shift. Synergy. Brick and mortar approach. Okay. Color is red. More TSP. Better TSP. Okay. It's the fern. I knew the fern would be important. How do I get back to the fern? Yeah, I literally almost bought this couch with this ottoman. I kind of wish I bought this couch now. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, <laughs> that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. <laughs> Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. I've seen this happen before when I was in high school. Someone took all the colored markers out of one teacher's, like, room. And anytime they'd ask for them, if the teacher left and came back, then there would be, like, more writing of the colored markers on the whiteboard. It was very interesting. Turns out it was not a kid from their class. It was someone from a completely different grade. I always found that funny. Ooh. I'm going to read this. Other Stanley Parable is the prequel to Stanley Parable 2. The sequel is to Stanley Parable is the... Uh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. This way to the show floor. New features. I like it. Shiny. Ooh, there was an audience. Okay, gotta, gotta follow the line. Gotta go this way. Gotta make a turn. Ooh, it's very shiny. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Okay. I will touch everything. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Let's try it. Where's the button? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious <laughs> answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, present. Jim. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. <laughs> but of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Okay. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Okay. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. I am Jim. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I am Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Yep. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love. I'm 42. And being broken as Jim. Yep. My wife put me in credit card debt. As Jim. And as Jim. I have two kids and I don't really like the them. Best. Do you feel it deeply? I wish I, I had gone to art school, Jim but instead right I went into finance and now I'm depressed. Then please step forward. All right, let's go, Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Damn, Jim. Do it again. 
Okay. B Jim. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. True. Let's take a break from the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. No, Jim needs more. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much Jim. No, there's never I too much Jim. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start no. to lose Jim. all sense no. of Jim. No. actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. I'm still Jim. You can never take my identity away from me, you bastard. I'm still Jim. In art school, you get depressed too without knowing about finances. Oh man, if only Jim had gone to art school. At least he would, could be like a depressed artist and that would fuel his art. But you can't have like depression fuel your finances. Stupid Jim. What happens if I press this button? Not fair, I want to be Jim. I'll come back for you, Jim. I feel abandoned. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. True! That actually save me the work of finishing this feature. No screenshots. Or what? Bankruptcy! See, this is what Jim deals with. See, I was right. Jim is in finance. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. What's this way? Not the jump circle. I hate the jump circle. Collectibles! I like collectibles. Ooh, we got the jump circle. We got this map. A free achievement. I need to go see that. The button that says the name of the player. That's bullshit. Merch. Settings, world champion, Stanley Parable, reassurance bucket, the epilogue, the collectibles, the infinite hole. I'm gonna go, ah. Oh, it's turning. Okay, I thought it was like an angel situation, the stone angels where it wasn't turning unless I looked at it. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all. Give me the collectibles. Oh, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Excuse me, boys, this is mine. Ooh, yay. Yay, no! Where's the rest of them? Give me the rest of the collectibles. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Ooh, get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. Yay! Give me the achievement. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Achievement. Yes. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. Narrator! <laughs> Narrator! I hate you. Life isn't fair. No free achievement for Jim. Just like in real life, Jim never even got a participation trophy because what he didn't else? participate. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Don't talk to me, I'm mad at you. No, my jump you know circle what? is still Let's broken. Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Jump it's... circle. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Give me more. 
I suppose it can Give just be a nice Give decorative piece then. Give me more. I hate you. I want new jumps. This isn't right. Jim, I, I can't even say you got weak ankles because I can't see your feet. <laughs> Jim can't jump in. He doesn't have feet. And I that was a lie. Okay, I need to, I need more stuff. I need... We're not going to the exit. The exit is for losers. We're going... What's the infinite hole? I know! They took the jump ability away. Ooh, no screenshots. What happens if I take a screenshot in the no screenshot? Distant space time. Distant past. Distant space time. Okay, that's too much thought. Opening rim surrounding area deep infinite. Okay. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. Okay. Right. Infinite falling. Yeah. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I like it. Wee. Goodbye. See, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. I like now it then, here. Since you've gotten to see the infinite Wee. hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. What if I just want to keep going? Hmm. Now I don't mean to be a bummer. But I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. You're not my mom. Do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Nope. This is my moment to shine. Okay, Stanley. It's like I Spy Kids. I don't know how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From wait, one wait, wait. The so the ground is it's not the ground. Philosophical in nature. It's more of a. Ooh! Okay. I found the ground. Well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Yeah, Look, you're stupid. The here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I, I do. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. I could never be the problem. Um, look, uh, things I'm not the one who made an infinite hole and then lied about it. Some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. But what if that doesn't work for me and I don't want to call it the almost infinite hole because almost infinite isn't a thing? Oh, hey, someone's been throwing their cigarettes in here. Narrator, I want to renegotiate. Narrator. I want to renegotiate. Okay. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see, I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> the problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. It goes on forever till the not end Not an of infinite time. hole. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Maybe you should sh sh shouldn't lie. Why is it shorter? The holes seem even shorter to you this time. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. And I hate it. Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Why did you make the hole shorter? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed? <laughs> You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where...
<laughs> wait, oh. wait, no, that's shorter. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I hit no. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Okay. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Finally, some good ideas. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. Long Axe, thank you so much for the five months. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, Yay! I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Oh God, my teleport. My, um, and teleport I used all my jumps. You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Oh no, I used all I used all my jumps. Narrator! I'm stuck in the hole. Well, I suppose, Narrator! I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. So if you restart the game. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. <laughs> and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. No! You can't leave me in the yes, hole. Stanley. This was your bad idea. You, Have a wonderful rest of you don't you walk off into the no. Don't you walk off into the distance. Narrator, 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 get me out of this damn hole. Narrator, the walls are talking to me. Narrator, narrator. I can be just as stubborn as you. I'm gonna stay in this hole until you come back for me. And not because I can't get out of the hole, but because it's a personal choice. Oh, narrator, never mind, I fixed the hole. You're welcome, dumbass. I'm so smart, I fixed the hole. Okay. The game's giving you ideas to traps and why is it making it sound so majestic? Ooh. To infinity and the hole. Change my perspective? Look at Stanley. So much perspective. So many angles. Ooh. See, you can really choose how you view every situation just by changing your mental soundtrack. This hole. This hole's cool. <gasps> I like this hole. Look at the puppies. Oh, look at the little puppies. Change yourself? What's happened to Stanley? Oh, Stanley's having a weird day. I like this version of Stanley. <gasps> I'm in space. <gasps> I like the beach. Stanley. What? Stanley. What? Stanley. what? 
Oh. oh, good, you're awake. Hi. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Okay. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. Okay. I'll be back. Toodle pip. What the hell's a toodle pip? Okay, Stanley. Fall asleep again. Are we gonna move? <gasps> We're doing something. Why did the narrator just shut up in the beginning? Oh yeah, now I'm like attached to No, I'm back at the beginning. Here we are. Go the... on. Try out some of the new features. Ooh, what's the reassurance bucket? I'm gonna go check this out, and then I'm gonna go back to the, the hole. The complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Okay. It's the Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. Oh. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the There's Stanley the Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. There you is a bucket. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance. Give me the bucket. The bucket is in your arms. And to be honest... It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Give me the bucket. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Okay, yes, bucket. the bucket is the perfect solution. I like the bucket. Come on, give it a try. See, when the bucket wasn't on the pedestal, I thought it was going to be one of those like Timmy Turner's dad situations. Like this is where I would put my trophy if I had one. I have a bucket. Look at it. It's a bucket. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, bucket. must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just bucket. holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Agreed. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? I'm taking the bucket. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Open the door. Yeah, I get to keep the bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. I got a bucket. You heard Jim in the game? Did they change? They did change it. You changed it. You lied. The book, it says Jim. I'm going to go touch it again. I think we can go back to the hole and I will be going back to the hole. It still doesn't put the button back. I don't like the narrator sometimes. Feel like it's more of a honey bucket. I like the bucket. Where did I? Did I go this way? No. Where am I? Epilogue no. Would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? I'm not doing yes. the epilogue. Yes, it will go at the end of the. Um. Uh, well, we'll figure that out later. You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna find the hole. Not the free achievement because that's a lie. Okay, uh, infinite hole, collectibles, office, have I come to office decorations? Office decorations is next to settings world champion, which is across from merch. I missed it. I have to go back. Wait, wait, hole, found the hole. Told me he was, he did say he was going to change it, but I mean, if he was going to change it, he should have accepted responsibility for his mistake and put the button back. That way I could have pressed it until it got mad at me again. No. The narrator's no fun. The narrator's boring. The narrator doesn't care about my mental health. I should be allowed to jump in the hole as many times as I want to. Ooh, that's new. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. 
Wait, no, that's the epilogue. I don't want to go to the epilogue. I want to find office supplies. Is it this way? Oh, this is the no Wait. That's the, oh, that's the bucket. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Ah, uh, ooh. I like Get Well Someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. You Happy bastard. Happy birthday, step niece it is. Step niece. No, why can't we do things my way? Fine. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Excuse me. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, the Mostly Infinite Hole. Free achievement. I thought this said free advice for a second. I want to go this way. I want to see... Damn it. This bucket's no longer working. Why does Stanley look so sad? Wait a minute. Did I go the right way for the epilogue? Okay. Ooh. Huh. Okay, there's a collectible. Oh, I see the exit. I gotta read signs. Time travel before I sneeze. It is the power of the infinite hole. I have broken time. Ooh. Okay, Rorschach right. test. Seen everything you wanted to. Ready to move on now? Where are we going now? Can I bring the bucket? If you made me get rid of this bucket, I'm gonna fight you. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's mm -hmm. going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. I so believe you. Let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Always. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Ooh. How do I get down there? There's a new jump. Um, I want to go. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. No, I like it. Yes. Dang it. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Oh, it looks worse. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. There's and an infinite jump circle. Gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They what? would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait. Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Okay. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Sure. Well, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. I'm looking. Oh, okay.
Is it over? I'm so confused. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. The balloons! Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. This and game is an infinite screen! This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Okay. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, <laughs> the call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and okay. regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. We're back in the All fray. All workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to what? go to the meeting room. Perhaps Stanley picked up the bucket. I got a bucket. Okay. I feel safe now. Where do I go? I feel reassured in my choices. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. You're right, Bucket, you always know best. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh my God, Bucket, you're a genius. You're the best bucket ever. Should we stay here longer, Mr. Bucket? Truly, being here with the bucket <laughs> was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Yep. Then walking to the lounge, then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. The bucket is so intelligent. I love you, Bucket. You're my reason for being. The bucket is truly perfect. Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. That's true. The bucket, the bucket understands me, okay? None of my co-workers could ever understand the glory of this room. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be <laughs> in the lounge. Clearly, the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. I love it. Impurity, how are you doing? The move has been decent. A lot of stuff is still not done. But yeah, we're getting through it. Bucket, are you ready to go or are you happy? Tell me, Bucket. I will do whatever you want. Never mind, I'm changing my mind. I'm in charge now, Bucket. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Yep. Bucket's in charge. Let's Good, go, Bucket. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Okay, Bucket. Stanley did not question why or how this Bucket was speaking to him. Sounds about it right. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. Of course but Buckets Stanley can talk. But Stanley not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had spoken to him. And yep. he unthinkingly did whatever the Bucket asked. Facts. I, I exist to please the Bucket. 
Stanley is nothing besides a servant In to the here, bucket. Said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Okay. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. I do what Bucket says. Oh, Bucket. Now pick up the phone, said the Bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. I want to live life with Bucket. Did I do it? Did I live my life with this my Bucket? This is a sad story of a man named Stanley and his Bucket. Once upon a time, I what? gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. <laughs> the bucket did speak! Hello, Stanley, it's me, your bucket! Press P to take me to work. <laughs> Favorite ending! Let's go to work, Bucket. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. No, it's not. The Bucket loves me. <gasps> I found my Bucket! Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. There's nothing you can say. Me and the bucket are forever. We're going back to work. My coworkers are still not here. Stanley. What? Can you hear me? Not really. Listen to me. No. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different Don't location. Don't talk about That's him it. like that! It doesn't do anything else. He can hear you! Don't listen to the loud man! Yes! Shut up, narrator! You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me it never he was. He and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. My bucket. Press K to ignore anyone in your life. For me, let's go. It's bucket so, only time. He doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket. My bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. It does. Are you understanding now? You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? I do. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. Yeah. More capable of transporting liquid. Yeah. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. True. It's the perfect bucket, truly. To relieve, wait, relive the same day with me over and over again. Let's go. You know. Oh my God, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. That was scary. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket. Go back home to work to home to work to home. Can do. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's going on? Oh. Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? We're I being don't seduced understand. by the bucket. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. You can't have my bucket. <laughs> The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. I know you're not trying to make moves on my bucket. You cannot have my bucket. Stanley, give me no. the bucket. No. Give it to me. No. Give me the bucket, no. Stanley. No. I need it. No, you give don't. It now. No. It it's I'll... my bucket. We're in love and you can't have him. Go back to work, Stanley. Is the bucket telling me this? I'm back at work. Did it take my bucket? You bucket stealing bastard. What could it mean? You home wrecker. To go to the meeting room. It's my Perhaps bucket. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. I got my bucket back. <laughs> You'll never come between us. 
I'm also still gonna go this way. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the. No, meeting. we must jump off the platform. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Bucket! Yes. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his <laughs> dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. It's a true love. It really is. There's nothing more wholesome All than a man in his bucket. Gone. What could it mean? Give me my bucket Stanley back. decided to go to the meeting room. Bucket! The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. I love my bucket. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Now I will Stanley jump over the platform. The calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply... Why the is this game so entertaining? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought. No, never mind. I must the go this way. Wrong. I must have jumped Stanley off the platform. The left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. I'm getting There's really tired of you telling me what to do. to do. No. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed I could go unplug the phone. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. The bucket's not and in charge. I'm thinking he did whatever the bucket asked. I'm going this way. The bucket's not the boss of me. I forged my own path. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see? There's Where? a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? Dare I suppose you. that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. No! This misunderstanding it's could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. Give me the bucket. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Why are you questioning my reality? Let me be happy. Is this the bucket? Is this a game I'm show? I'm going to run you through some test scenarios okay. and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Okay, like, thank so you so much for the five this months. What's up? Everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Yeah, okay, bucket time. Yeah. Item one, is this a bucket? No. Correct. Oh. It is a hologram of a bucket. Not an actual bucket. I was tricked. Okay, damn it. I won't let it happen again. Item two. Is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Do they not carry water? Whatever. Item three. Is this a bucket? Yes. Ha! This is I a win. bucket. Okay, next question. Item Ooh. four. Is this a bucket? I could transport liquid in that. What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I and you could carry water in it. Manage to screw it up. Absolutely incredible. You're judgmental. Let's just move on to the next one. I can totally carry water in that. Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. This is a bucket. See? Okay, now you're getting it, narrator. Totally a bucket. Cobble, you can also be a bucket if you want to be a bucket. Is this a bucket? 
I mean, technically, you just have to carry water. Fuck it. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What? Okay, but how is it both? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Yeah, humans are 70 something percent water. We are bucket, not bucket. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. There's nothing here. You're welcome. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket. Which everything is, is a bucket. True. Unless, is that what you think? That's true. Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Everything is a bucket. You can't tell me I'm wrong. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions. We are all bucket. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes, you are. Yes, you and are I bucket. Keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But if we're all bucket. All buckets from the game entirely. No. No. Okay. No, Here no. we go. No! 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 You can't do this to me! <laughs> you know! We're all bucket! Gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Because everything's Wait, bucket. Everything a bucket. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Yes! Oh my god, I had no idea. You fool! No, but, except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. We're totally buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Yay! And we'll know that it's all a bucket. It's but all a bucket. anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. I love that we have come to that conclusion. We are all bucket. Celine, how are you doing? How are you grappling with the fact that we are all bucket? We are all bucket. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket, Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We are all bucket. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Oh, clone trooper, are you heading out? Have a good night. Was simply the place to be. We are all bucket. We are one as the bucket. Was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meat? Kevin wants us all yes, to be Stanley. bucket. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. And now we're going to go and we're going to unplug the phone. The and we're going to see what the bucket has to say. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Let's go. Lift. Yes. Good. To Set the phone. Now ride Look the at lift the all the way to the top. There's we are one bucket united do. under Kevin. You are correct. Why or how this bucket was speaking to him? It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. We are he was firmly bucket. convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Soul Blazer, you don't have the background on our Lord and Savior Kevin? We are all one bucket Indeed. united under Super Kevin. Bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Hiding Stanley from our arch nemesis Todd. Badly. Now pick up the... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? I don't want to answer it. Is the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. No. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you. Yes, and it telling is. you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Uh, can't you see? Oh, Ivy Tom, you are you bucket. Really up the Thank you for accepting. We are seriously. all bucket. Wait, I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Oh, um, an instruction manual. Idea. Let's take a look. Read quicker. Me what oh. is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? 
How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 <laughs> seconds? your political enemies? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. <laughs> the Let's answer is bucket. Deeper. If you've ever told a joke or mm -hmm. made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit huh. with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. Okay. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, Thin. provide C -Y -N. a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh. I think we are all one spell bucket. Spell out your name a second time. C Y N. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Nice. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. I'm Dunny Let's with the funny. Screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Yes. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Okay. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow Jackal, how are you comedian. doing? Welcome in. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. So my Just SATs. To ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Yay! Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point. You or not. gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mantles. Are we fighting All mantis of us men? Must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. Is this Just portal as our 2? Children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may earth reign supreme. <laughs> That went dark really quickly. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again. So Got I can you. try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Yeah. Come on, let's head back. Comedic, de okay, I go this way. Comedic delivery. I'm on it. We're gonna go fight mantis men like Cave Johnson wanted. I hate that you put the railings up. Do you not trust me? This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. Don't oh, talk about sir, my bucket. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. I know. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Fighting mantis men. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Ooh, do not lie. You're not the boss of me. This hallway feels different. This isn't my hallway. Dang it, dude. You lied to me. I've given him every reason to trust me. I'm just a bucket-loving gym. Wait a minute. If the bucket's here, then the gym button should be here. Narrator, where's my button? Here we go. Okay. You ready? Yep, I'm, when I'm ready. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, yep. they entered the door on the left. Got you. Sounds about right. Let's go. Uh, narrator? Okay. Oh! We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. I know. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. Narrator, you broke it. A remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. 
joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. Mm -hmm. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. No, it doesn't. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling well. I think... I no, think I no. need to go back and rewatch that instruction. I don't want to watch the video. Don't make me do it. Surely that will help me improve my... Damn it. Here we go. Oh. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Okay. Oh, God. The f no, this wasn't what I wanted to do. What? We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Whee! What? Uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Oh, dang it. You're going to make me go through the you left ready? door, aren't you? When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Oh, Starlight, thank you. I probably, you know what? I bet if I move the galaxy light closer, it'll look brighter. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Then why'd you just look left? at the instructional You're video. not the boss of me. No, we're going this way. Out. Clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work. Now. I don't care it's about done. your personal the problems. No, we're going everybody. this way. My name is Jim. Fault, I'm not Stanley. Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. You already I'm going were. To be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you My proud? name is Jim. Oh. Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? I don't like it. Not, yeah, it's not good. It's kind of bad. Pale with shame. Pale Stalker, with yes, shame. the bucket. Pale... What's another word to describe? A bucket. A human. A bucket is so metal. I think I saw it playing guitar. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making Edward, what's up? How you doing? Which was the whole point of this. I just, I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More yeah. instructional videos. More instruction. See, now we have to go through the other doors. We're not done here. Where's All my bucket? All workers were gone. What could it mean? We're not done here. Stanley Where's my bucket? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had okay. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. I mean, we are all bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Yes, it is. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him the bucket the knows what's best. The bucket knows all. And here it was. Had the bucket okay. turned out to be correct? Well, no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. Slide to the left. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance Slide section. Slide to the left. To the opposite door. No. Yes. Okay. So we know where the bucket is, and we know where the balloons are, but we need to find the infinite hole in my gym oh, button. Good, Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. We care about you, Stanley. Aww. You see, Why is the baby and here? I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. In its We're better. The ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Didn't because play the that's first what game. Fans want from a sequel. They yeah. want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, yeah. but you're spending too much time with it. No. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Only we if the make bucket the comes. adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. 
can't believe I'm ha yeah an intervention over my bucket you gave me the bucket did you want me to hate the bucket? Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Ooh, oh, and played some silly music as well. Yeah, silly music. Oh yeah, the fern was. Now th this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's Wee. do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. You're not taking but my bucket. If you want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Yeah. You can have my soul, but you're not getting my bucket. Oh my god, there's too many stairs. Narrator, why are we going to the basement? Narrator, you're not getting my bucket. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. No! I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. No. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? No. Pants, Peter, thank you so much the for the five months! Does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. No. You're not getting my bucket. Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. No. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. No. This is my bucket. You're not going to take my only happiness in this now world from me. me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. No. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. That sounds Destroying like a personal problem. It's all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. It's not getting my bucket. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would nope. see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? It's the not getting my bucket. Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring We can all die here. This. You're not getting my bucket. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. No. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable game. Like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. No. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. I don't like the fans. You're not getting my bucket. I will destroy several small nations for my bucket. The bucket destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here. Narrator, do we need to talk about your issues with the Bucket Destroyer? I think you're a little too attached. It's not normal. You really shouldn't have this type of relationship with inanimate objects. It's really sad to be you. You should work on getting some friends. Where's my bucket? Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. The bucket. Good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. It's bucket time. Stanley touched the okay. bucket tightly uh, to his chest this... and entered the door on his left. Is <laughs> everyone carrying a bucket like a puppy? It is a puppy. Okay, everything's a bucket. If everything's a bucket, then a puppy is a bucket and a bucket is a puppy. Okay? I know what I'm talking about. I read a lot of Stanley philosophy books. Is Everything is bucket. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Ooh. Pot calling the bucket black. Bucket, get it? My bucket will never leave my side. Ooh, we can go downstairs Coming now. To a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs Wait. to the boss's office. But I haven't gone to the boss's office with the bucket. This way. Bucket, you're gonna help me get in. Ooh. I found the bathroom. 
Because the boss knows that the boss says goes, if the boss suffered losses, then what the boss chose? Ah, it's a collectible! Oh, I found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Yay! Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. And I, I will take that it. Sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I like it. I like it. I love it. Revan, thank you so much for gifting to Great Sage Fist. Thank you, thank you. I hope that you have a million buckets full of happiness. Ah! I don't like that painting! What the fuck? Business strategy! My strategy is to shove my foot up your butt! Stop! No, not the panda! I love pandas. Pandas are so good. I would gladly give my soul for a panda. Which way are we going? We're going up, Bucket. Dun, da dun, da dun, dun, da dun, dun, just me and my bucket, me and my bucket. No one can separate me and my bucket. I'm slowly going insane. But that's okay, cause I got the bucket to take. <laughs> Would sell pandas for souls? No, I'd give away human souls for pandas. I do like pandas more than I like people. Hanging out in the elevator. I don't know how long this ride is. Can I get out? I stopped it. Yeah. Wait. No. Me and my bucket, just me and my bucket. No one matters but me and my bucket. Did the elevator just say Stanley? <laughs> now I got the song stuck in your head of me and my bucket. Yes, sing along. Me and my bucket, just me and my bucket. Yeah, me and my bucket are here today. The elevator's talking to me, and it's creepy, but that's why I'm being reassured by my bucket. Okay, can we just please get out of here? Are ultimately useless, and without humanity, they wouldn't have gone extinct a while ago. There's just so much wrong with them. They are my spirit. <laughs> See, that's how I feel about jellyfish. Okay, jellyfish don't have a brain. They exist off pure numbers alone, and I love it. Me and my bucket, just me and Stepping my bucket. Stepping into his manager's office, this Stanley is was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ooh, Crushed wine. by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. Hmm. The bucket would. And he knew it. Just the me two of them and my bucket. Me and At this my point, bucket. Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Lies totally Nor noticed his it. Bliss of simply being near the bucket, did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845? 28. Yeah! But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Ooh, bucket! Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh, Jez, what's up? Um, so after dropping the mix, what would my rapper name be? Son of Kevin. Collectible! Another miniature Stanley thing. Yeah! This, um, you know... There really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley I like things. it. No, mini stands. What about Stanlerines? No. Yes, I think no. I like that. Well, that's so Another stupid. Stanlerine under your belt. See, this is why we don't follow your story. Ooh, this isn't freaky at all. 
down. Just me and my bucket, just me and my bucket. Thought your rapper name was for sin. Oh, did you guys make me a rapper name? Down, Which one was it? Plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Yeah, yeah bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I think the elevator's broke, but that's okay, because I'm with my bucket. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read... Mind control facility. Yay! Escape! <laughs> Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, was it a lie? Was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. That's okay. You know what? It's been a long day. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket <laughs> still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. It's been a really long day. Point, the bucket Stanley can't fix all of my problems. Walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. That's okay. Me and the bucket, we want to we want to go out together. You know, we have so much love in our hearts for one another that we're okay with this. I love you, bucket. <gasps> so, oh. Is that the semi-infinite hole? Ooh, it's a garbage compressor. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Lies! It puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. I never felt that way. So much time carrying a bucket everywhere. The bucket is my Where life. Is Stanley? I love this bucket. We go out together. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. This is false oh, advertisement. Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was oh. crushed violently to death. Aww. My bucket. Oh. Well, who the hell's the new narrator? Old narrator! I don't want to talk to the lady. It was Wait. a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, what? but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Oh no, it's a memorial for the bucket! Welcomes you to the great exhibit of the bucket! I was thinking about playing this. It is so much fun, Curly. My bucket, standing on the principle of knowledge, much like in the bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within. A carnivian. Uh, <laughs> That's true, our minds are a void. Our minds are a void. But through use of exhibit in the front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and... Okay, knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here into the world? Will you accept with open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were? In ignorance and darkness without the bucket. It's my bucket! Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? No! Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? I want. Wait a minute. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too reckless and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Oh, man. But, Curly, how are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm kind of mourning my bucket. 25 buckets. Photograph of 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. I want my bucket back. 
You can't keep me from my bucket. This. Oh wait, no, this isn't my bucket. This is an Inferno bucket. Replica of the Inferno bucket, which is a medieval era, was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains: no one can control the bucket. I can control the bucket. Making off work now. So you were on. Oh, thank you for dropping by, and I hope work went well. Rest and relaxation, doing something you enjoy. Presentation without- No, I want the bucket! The stress bucket! Oh man, lack of reassurance, negative thinking, negative forecasting, worrying, I want my bucket! I want my bucket. Oh! The ancient cave bucket! While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, what we do not know by how long, this cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. Where's my bucket? No man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. I want my the hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between the bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp on the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. I bet you I'm going to grab that damn bucket. Bucket! <laughs> I took my bucket back. But there is something we can do. Hold something the Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. I'm not giving up the bucket. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. No! Save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements. No. If this only we let bucket. Stanley die together, the bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. No! They separated me in the bucket. Give me back my bucket. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time mm. from now on. In the meeting room. Figurine finders committee. Give me my bucket. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Okay, the bucket's got new dialogue. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his oh, chest no and entered the door on his left. That's such a difficult this question. Was not to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. That's such a difficult question. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. I don't know. Was, had the bucket, the bucket is so was infinite this than the meeting room? and important. Yeah, no, never mind. The bucket but Morton and Anderson are Morton and Anderson. The door on his left to go back to them. And so the two Okay, the I was told there's a figurine committee in here. Ahead to the opposite door. If you're lying to me, I'm going to fight you. How do Oh, how do we find them? Bottom text. Okay. Maybe we are the collectibles. That's true. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There are no memo for management. Agenda. How can you tell you've spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these photos of them? I love it. Next slide. Fig leaves are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee. You can do it. Red room. Like a fun red room or a scary red room? Thank you. Good luck, you smiley face. I love the use of emojis here. It's great. This is perfect clip art. Okay. Ideas. Saw one in the cargo room. Employee 421, building a bridge. NDA. Do we need contracts for them? Potential liabilities. Can we sell them? Obviously. 
More money if sold together. That's true. Sell them as a collectible. Yes, you have to sell them as a collective. How many are there? Six. Why floating? Magic. Our quarterly success. Magnets. Training exercise by management. Dreams. Artist rendering. Why do they kind of look like 427? Should we make them employees? Interns? Yes, maybe. What do they want? Money. Stock options. Our data. Employee 421 building. Okay. Okay. What's, what's the pie chart? What did we forget? What we don't know yet. What we know. Bonus stuff. I like the bonus stuff. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This room, they feel pointless to be honest. Trust the completionist instinct always. We need more planks. Okay. We need more planks. Oh, okay. There's the red door, the blue door, and then there's one on the left, the right door. Okay. 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 I I'm understanding. Where has access plan? Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collectible of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from the warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. Oh, Chris. Sorry, Chris. Gotta get going. Animation class is starting. Art Blob, I hope you enjoy your class. More power to the bucket. Yes, power of the bucket be with you. Be safe out there. Learn a lot. Animate buckets. It looks like 427. Five here. Gotta collect them all. Ah, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Inside the sequel exhibit. We got that one. Near a fireplace. I think we got private but smelly place for an important person. Got it. Somewhere both red and blue. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Large room. Lots of boxes. Okay, we know where these are. Is this something of a game? There must be a point to this. Okay. Cargo room. Yes. Stairs. We saw the stairs, but I didn't go down. I went to the office. Somewhere both red and blue. I gotta remember how to get to the red and blue doors. First one, the war, then outrage. Having made slits into the holy bucket priests from order latter day buckets later began an inquisition against all those who would do buckets harm their opponents the farmers with their bucket helmets as well as supporters who despise the cruel punishment in order to inflict on sh sinners rose in great numbers and thus began the bucket war oh my god the buckets nuzlocke i have no idea what that is in purity but if it's we'll play it we'll play it Large room of boxes. <laughs> oh, that's true, Prez. I should just look for collectibles in my own room. There will be a reward for finding them all. I don't feel like there is. See, lies, lies. Stop kidding yourselves. I want to go home. I want them so much. There will be cleaning of this wall required. Who are you? So many questions. Come on, Bucket. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs no, to the didn't. boss's office. I found it. Okay, I'm going back to the yes. name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name the second one is stupid. The intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Neither. You sit on it. There are many sure stands. It will come to me. The bucket doesn't like either of the names you've chosen. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. Oh god, are we going- oh no, not the circle room again. Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. I'm not crazy, I have a he bucket. Down at the bucket in his arm. Yeah. Am I crazy? He no. The bucket. the bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. True. And that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. 
Someone else's Someone bucket, replaced perhaps. my bucket. I end up with someone else's bucket. This is all terribly wrong. Surely no. no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre Where's hallucinations my bucket? he might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Oh no, now I've lost my bucket. Oh gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it <gasps> calling to him. Bucket! Stanley! Stanley, it's me! The bucket! Could it truly be? Bucket! He forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the oh, next. Oh no! None of them were his. None so many of them buckets. Were his special These bucket. are my bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. Where are my bucket? He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. Oh, and here's then my suddenly, bucket. He froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. Where? The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. What? Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. I told you everything is a bucket. We this were is the bucket of a woman named Mariella. Bucket lore confirmed. Bucket lore confirmed. We are bucket. Like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and <laughs> to her place of work. You also but have a bucket. Day, I lost mine. The walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion. If and free it's will is an illusion. A video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. True. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be. Mary. How do you even backseat this game? Her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Dead yes, Prez, that and should be your review stress. of Stanley Parable she Deluxe Edition. To it's a bucket of fun. And then see how many upvotes you get. Okay, I gotta find my bucket. I gotta find my bucket, and Stanley then I have to. Had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? I don't trust he it. He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Bucket time. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Very true. The best bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to we his chest. This, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. We must use the bucket, bucket. to be correct. The real bucket was the friends we made mind. along the way. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go no, back I to didn't. the meeting room. The no, bucket said I have to find it. Okay. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo <gasps> lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Ah. This, I've been wanting to come over here for a while now. Give me the collectible. It's mine. You're getting close now, Stanley. Yeah. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and the Reens. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. You changed the name the again. the number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. Where did you get this name? Also, where's Chris's body? Chris, you down there, buddy? Chris is down there somewhere. Also, this is... Uh, OSHA hates this place, man. I think someone said that before, but it's 100% true. Need to add it to your bucket list. Oh. Bucket, we're somewhere new. Oh god, we made it to the back room's bucket. Hey, there's a lot of cassette tapes. Bucket, find the figurine. Ooh. Okay, 
This is day number 295. Tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, <laughs> the less sense anything makes. It makes perfect sense. It's all bucket. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. Understandable. No matter how many times I've done it, mm -hmm. it's always the same feeling. Yep. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Same. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. We are all bucket. Still That's the explanation. I figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. I like this plan. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. Prez, is but that true? Careful. That's insane. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. Oh no. What's that? Who's there? They're here for your bucket. The demon's here for the bucket. You're not getting my bucket, demon. I gotta find it so I can protect it. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly okay. his chest. This I'm trying to remember how to get back to the red and blue room, Stanley and I think it's jumping the off the platform. Him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Okay. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out. That is the last thing I can think there? that I need to do is jump off the platform and try to get back to the red and the blue door. Stanley took the door on his left to go no, back I didn't. to the meeting room. You saw something? Like a demon? No, okay, not a demon. Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Okay. There's something up there I need you to do. I'm totally Stanley not going to jump off. Why or how this bucket was speaking to Totally him. not going to jump off. Of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this. Press, what did you Stanley. see then? He if it's not the bucket, the bucket stealing had demon. To him, and he unthinkingly did whatever Wait. the bucket asked. Okay. Got to remember how to get No, stop. Look there on the wall. Oh, See, it's a no a bucket right zone. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a Oh, what, what if we go bucket? back to the bucket that eater? Would a lot about your behavior up to this point, which if that's true. Could have well, been something I was looking for? What I did it look like? Something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences. Would the demon the also be a bucket? Not address quickly and properly. That's so important. Much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please step in here. For okay, me. we have to get back to the bucket eater. Because maybe now that's then, the next step in I my progression. Some test scenarios. And I have you'll to tell me whether or not the thing I have I'm to sacrifice is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what it okay. is or is not. We're going to get all bucket. the questions right this okay, time. Let's begin.
We're gonna get them all right. Not a bucket. Is this a bucket? Correct. Okay. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. This is also not a bucket. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay, the next one is a bucket. Come on, I need to Item get back three. to the bucket eater. Is this a bucket? Correct. This is a bucket. Okay. I'm going to argue that this is a bucket. Is this a bucket? Are you hallucinating? This is uh, how I actually am at game shows? The that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely Depends on the game show. Incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. Depends on the game show. This one is not a bucket, is but I'm going to say bucket? it is a bucket. No, this one is a bucket. This one is a bucket. Correct. This is a bucket. I gotta get at least one wrong. That way he doesn't suspect anything. Item six. Is this a bucket? This is both a bucket and not a bucket. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Yeah, I knew that. You didn't trick me. I remembered. Dum dum. Item wait, hold on, I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, this is where it breaks. Bucket. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. Everything is a bucket. nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? I like this answer. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. Mm -hmm. I've lost all sense of perspective. Uh -huh. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. No, you couldn't. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yep. Yeah. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. No. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. Losing your mind over here. We have to feed it to the bucket eater. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? We are all buckets. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... I tried to me. save myself, but myself I'm keeps slipping away. I and always know who I am. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I've known from day one that I am a bucket. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. We are yes, buckets. I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. Is a ring is a, a bucket? Absolutely. Much. I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Who am I then? I am Bucket. That is all we all are, is Bucket. There is nothing in life outside Bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. And if you what think there's more mean? than just Bucket, Stanley you're wrong. To go to the meeting room. Okay, we and need to go to the anti-Bucket room. Going to the anti-bucket room and requires Stanley us to, to not have the bucket. Open this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop We're gonna by go the to the anti-bucket room. Just to admire it. It was okay. No, but the lounge is great. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I need to go to the anti-bucket room! And I can't take the bucket to the anti-bucket Stanley room. Was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I was I've been trying to get fired forever, bro. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. 
I realize that investing in your trust I wonder where Chris's body went. Difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. And my bucket. You've been neglecting Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Yay! Oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Okay. I don't know how to convince you of this, but Anti -bucket I really room. Don't want to help you to show you something beautiful. We found it. Let me prove it. We prove found it. There it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. You keep changing the name. Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. Facts. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all. Say but it. that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. I don't like and that. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I want praise. The fact that you don't give me praise makes me angry. Now listen carefully, this is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. Whoop. I'm gonna listen this time. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Oh no, we're back in the choices. circle of doom. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. No, put me back. I would, we would both be so I have one last thing I need to do. Stop. I need to talk to my and wife think, over the phone. Well, I, think I have a solution. Here. Cuz I've purposefully screwed you. that up every time. Oh, oh, hey, we're back to the room where I throw my thing, where I throw myself off the of stuff. What looking for? Here. Yes. No, there's oh, not a bucket so here. Wonderful, isn't it? it no. Wait, where are you going? Back to the bucket. The bucket is all that matters. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. Back we'll to the bucket. This. Back to the bucket. Please, no, back Stanley, to the bucket. Oh, here. back to Take the bucket. Please, Stanley. Bucket! Think about... oh. Back to the bucket. Back God. to the no. bucket. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. Then give me I can't a bucket. Go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Give me a bucket and I'll consider it. Bucket! Stanley? Huh? Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that? My God. There's no bucket this in there. Really how much you dislike my game, but you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Bucket! Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. It is. Back to the bucket. I will once again be one with the bucket. I will prove that I am just a bucket. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? Yep. I'm going back. Yep, you are. Okay. I don't think I've answered the phone as just Stanley. So I think that's one of the last things on on my mind that I really need to- ah! Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. You can't have Wasn't them, they're mine. the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the oh. memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Okay. Just one more time. Okay, can do. Can do. Figurines. Ooh, now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. The memory zone. Give me my collectibles. Ooh. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to be going down? Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. 
Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? Oh, did it lag out? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Give it. Oh! It's extra. We got seven. We got seven. Ooh, the bathroom. And here was a second Stanlerine. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Let's go this way. Boss's office under the stairs. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? This one! Give me my stand! See, why do you keep calling them something different? Mini stand sounds so much better. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig only, not the third. Still I'm taking well, I it. Guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You okay. know what? If under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? Let's see, what came next? Oh. Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. What? Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Uh, narrator, I think you're having issues. Narrator. What if the bucket demon's looking for me? Ooh. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. What? Enjoy. Oh, not! Oh, God. Not the peel away. This feels like when you have to make presentations in middle school. The random clip art you found off the internet. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Starring Stanley! <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? Kind I of. spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Okay. Give me my other... Give it! I want the mini Stan! And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh, oh, do these go the same? Okay. They go the same place this time. Ooh, what's this? You are in the present. Is this a jump circle? No, it's not. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. No! Wait! Okay. Now can I go answer the phone? Or are you gonna stop uh, me again? No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Oh. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory no. zone again no. from the opposite direction. No. See how that feels. No. No. Narrator, I think you have an unhealthy relationship with these figurines. You should really seek counseling about that. Inanimate objects cannot bring you joy. Okay, yes. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. 
I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. What are you going to do if I decide just to throw myself? And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? There's an invisible wall. Oh, okay. Thank you for the recap. Yes, I love that video. Can I not just... Oh, you really put up an invisible wall. Disgusting behavior. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. It is a nice room. It's nice and pink. Very solid. Okay. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. I want to throw myself off of something. What happens if I go this way? What are you going to do about it? Oh, put up an invisible wall, really? That's really how you're going to play this game? I'm disappointed in you, narrator. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, Get me out of here. More memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. No. What else is there? What no. What came before this? Collect them all. You can find them. You can... F okay. Oh. Oh, is it the jump circle? Collectibles. Where's my jump circle? Do I have more jumps? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a rosy filter on everything. In More fact, jumps. I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. I want to jump. We don't always get what we want. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh, God, they converge. Okay. I'm back in my office, though. And before everything else, there was your office. Can I leave again? Is I don't like it. Else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Narrator? Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. Hmm? I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, Our existence I means nothing? Again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. What? I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. No. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. No. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, then, here we go. Has always been a woman and this can only be heard by sin. Of a man named Stanley. <laughs> I've never questioned it. No, take me. Uh, okay, we're still back the in the meeting. content. Yes, that's where everyone would be. No. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Lies. Lies. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. We're gonna go. And and we're gonna go touch well. the phone, and I Perhaps can't bring the bucket. If I bring the bucket, then the bucket's gonna to want to spend eternity with us. 
And we're not going to see our wife, so I have to touch it without the bucket. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Can't do it with the bucket. Gotta go alone. Gotta solo this. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. We could go this way on our own. Because isn't the bucket Stanley, destroyer right there? We've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, huh. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Take me to my There's wife. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. And then we get the bucket and we go Please. that way and we throw Stop it in the machine. To make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I must, this is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay, That's now we answer Stanley. phone. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Not a bread maker. Okay. Now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Not really. They want to commit their life to you. No, I'm trying to my bucket. Here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Disrespectful. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. I died again? Good morning, empl- oh, fine. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his Disgusting. existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, <laughs> doing exactly what he's told to do. Fuck you! Now he's pushing a button. Now... He's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press them. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press T. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the really building... Really makes you feel like Stanley. Off the face of the earth. We are all Stanley. We are all Buck. Excited him terribly. Press X to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepared dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. I do hate and that baby. It the Stanley Parable. Press you. We have kids. We don't even have a wife. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again. And again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Yeah, bucket! But there is no answer. Oh. How could oh. there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets the more he forgets which life is the real one. Uh, okay, go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. 
but he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Okay. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You're not the boss of me. You see? Can he just not hear me? <laughs> How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time... And I tried again. Oh. And Stanley pushed a button. Okay. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I'm trying. I try okay. I think I died. Gabby, how are you doing? What's up? I'm trying to kill Stanley. Okay. We got one last order of business. Workers were gone. What could it mean? I think I know which Stanley way I'm going. Go bucket. Meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed bucket. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and <laughs> a better co-worker. In time, perhaps he would become both of those things. This is not. This is not my path. This isn't my path. Narrator, I'm going the wrong way again. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? The move was, was fine, no extremely no stressful no and annoying. And Stanley this room is going to be changing constantly. To to the meeting room. Till now, this is my box collection no, room. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere else. Yeah. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to... Okay, I have to find... Wait, no! This is the tapes! Wait, so what happens if I come here without the bucket? How did I get to the... Okay. The thingy then? This is day number 295. Tape number... <laughs> I don't so even know. Curious. I've lost track. Whimsy, what is up? How are you doing? You played this game today for the first time? You didn't know you could pick up the bucket? I study this the bucket, bucket is the most important character. Sense anything. The bucket is the best. All that matters is bucket. Euphoria, I feel every time I pick it up. See? No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. Mm -hmm. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is. Oh, in this my isn't arms. the narrator. This is someone who went crazy because of the bucket. Feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can. I can monetize it. Yeah, there's so much content because of that bucket. Yes. The bucket is the best. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. <laughs> this. Is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, mm -hmm. there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. What's that? Mm. Who's there? Camarada. Yeah, I think there's a demon after the bucket, but I can't be sure. Okay. We go back to where we were, but without the... Oh, damn it, it's changed again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 
I've literally been playing non-stop. I don't know how many endings I've gotten, but there's just a lot been going on. So many of them involve the bucket. So many of when them. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly okay. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. We are a man with the plan. It was okay. We jump down without the bucket, and we see but where that takes us. Back to business, and then, the first I think door. unplugging yeah. the phone with the bucket is what causes us, causes us so to go to the bucket eater. Directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, where do I go when I don't have the bucket? Same place, but Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. What does it do? From so far off the beaten path that it You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? No. What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd <laughs> adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. You never it know. It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal <laughs> and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being Whimsy, I have never felt more like myself and except for playing this How game. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Exactly. No, it took me forever to finally to listen to the voice. narrator, and by then I pretty much broke the game and found a bucket. And then the bucket became my life. And now all, all that matters is the bucket. Gone. What could it mean? Bucket, Stanley bucket, decided bucket, to bucket, go to the bucket. meeting room. Bucket. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. We got a bucket. Stanley okay. The bucket I'm going to try unplugging the phone. To the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? The bucket's always there, correct. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley and if this isn't the, the way back to the to bucket to eater, the room. then I really don't know where the bucket eater no, was. Said the bucket. Don't the bucket, the no. Room. I can't sing the bucket song without my music. Yes. Good. Said the bucket. I have to Bow have my right tunes. The all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him. I gotta have my tunes for the bucket before. song. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Yes, because we are all bucket. Nothing matters but bucket. Why would I disobey Indeed, bucket when we are all bucket. bucket? Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. I do what the bucket says. Except for right now. You're not the boss of me, bucket. Now pick up the phone. No. Said... <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to Okay, I think this is the way I was supposed Stanley, to go. I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Yes, it Buckets is. Buckets can't talk. It yes, was it a does. joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. No. Uh, if we do this, we go back oh, into the, the... the. It's going to make, gonna make us have a comedy lesson. Seriously. I forgot. Mess up the joke? Damn it. I think I got lost again. For longer or spoken quicker. Oh, Whimsy, you too? I was trying to find Chris's body. But there isn't exactly an instruction. They told me his body would be in the cargo the room. I can't find it. Oh, I feel lied to. I wanted to find um, Chris. It's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Revan, thank you so much for gifting to Edward. Thank you, thank what you. What is comedic timing? Oh, God, we're back to what the comedic timing. comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more I importantly... Love that. Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Okay, so I don't know how to get back to the bucket eater then. Is, I thought it was yes. this way. Let's dive deeper. It's not from jumping if you've off. If told a joke or made someone laugh, 
all it's not from going underneath the cargo room. Centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn left. One of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 we can try it. angle from your body. I, I've gotten so These used to not going left. Conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke you will haven't land, gone back to from the darkness spell out your name a second time with these steps complete it's time to begin the humor speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary when the joke has concluded it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice mm -hmm. i'm dunny with the funny i'm dunny with Let's the funny screaming i'm dunny with the funny i'm now. dunny with the funny seems about right good this saying is a perfect example of expectations management 285 jellies so many jealous so little time it's time to hand out surveys collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke Our is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian an effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question recommended though several times just to ensure the survey taker let me look it up i haven't heard of it and not simply filling in answers at random all the while <laughs> and that's all there is from the darkness at your disposal, You'll have audiences doubled over in laughter. Whimsy, did you ever play Dead Space? Laughter. And if so, have you seen the that new game that's coming out from those point, developers? You gut busting little scamp. After all, with each oh, of it's the this game! The fight the 12 -legged invader, I've never played it, but I've difference. seen like the elevator scene. Where it's like you get into the elevator with something. To give our lives to this noble cause. Oh my god, children must do after us, and their children after them. God speed and may Earth reign supreme. Oh yeah, this is where we have to fight Mantis Men. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know when that is or when it happens, but uh, yeah, that's one clip that I saw that was apparently very creepy, and that is all I know about that game. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. The Otherwise, instructional videos. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. Okay. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. I gotta the figure out. Spoke. Gotta be oh, to the I'll left, right? Fine. No need to overthink. Because the l only thing I haven't done again was take the bucket to the left because I'm so used to not going to the left. Hmm. Okay. Well, let them do this again. I'm sort of done moving, but like also not really. When standing on um, the I'm about 30% moved at this point. The door on the left. And it's just stuff everywhere. What about if I go that way? I feel like it's still to the right though. What? Oh. Uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. Maybe it's the elevator to down? Up to this point. I haven't tried that. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the Thank phone. you! I, I'm thinking if I move it closer to the wall, so it'll be now. more, um, uh, it vibrant. Easy. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. I what an egregious mistake. It. I need I to get a little myself. stand and put it closer to the wall behind the title me. Of king of comedy, I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling wealth. I think. I think I need to go back. And okay. Watch that I'm gonna try the elevator now. 
Yes, surely that would you be I started way. unplugging it, but then I really liked one of the endings I got from you not did. unplugging it. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open <clears throat> doors, they entered the door on <clears throat> the left. Okay. And this is where he gets mm -hmm. mad at me because I went through the door on the left. The door on the right, leading back to the phone. No. Did you not even look at the instructional video? Shut I up. Think this is all covered very clearly. Shut There's up. There's no way I can make the comedic. You're not my mom. Now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. Okay. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. Then All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are yes. You okay. Please send me back to the... No. Dang it. It's this end. Okay. All right. The last thing I'm going to try is to go down the elevator. Well, let me try that again. Because I haven't done that in a very long time. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashed Two things you'll never lie about. Your love of cheese and coping strategies for recording <laughs> abandonment. Have you ever considered getting a bucket? Pale with shame? Pale... Have you ever considered getting a bucket? It's very reassuring to have a bucket. Mental. I think I saw it playing guitar. No. One must no. always it's carry a bucket. Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I just, okay. I know good at these jokes. We're gonna do it again. Be this time, we're going down the elevator. Exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king but of without the bucket, I'm trying to think of which one I got first. So many different endings. I like the one where you end up with the bucket. There's so much going on here. Okay, narrator, please don't pull anything weird. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. It takes bucket. A lot of humility to carry a bucket so Kitsune, much. how are you doing? Stanley checked his ego and okay. then proceeded on. Stanley this way. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. That's fine. But Stanley had felt the okay. bucket calling to him, telling him that then the we turned to the left. lounge was simply the Then we go through the lounge. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. We go this Stanley way. Took the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them. And then we go down. The maintenance section and walk straight ahead to the opposite door. Okay, haven't tried this in a while. And I think. Good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you. Yes. Okay, this is the intervention. We're good. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. My fern! It's this bucket you're carrying Ooh, around everywhere. Excuse me. The bucket is I'm allergic to this the fern. Stanley parable. It's Did I sneeze in the exact same content. place We're last time? The that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans hmm. want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. You'll never separate you me. A story involving the adventure line. We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, You'll yes, never take my bucket. Wee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. See, oh, I was in the sequel. Ah. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is okay. all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> okay. Yes. We give the bucket away. We then. sacrifice the bucket. Them, and that'll be... Exactly oh my god, it's kind of poetic. Because we we're so close to being something. done, and we've Don't spent so long that. with this bucket, and, and then we can end stream bucket. by That's sacrificing our one true friend. A brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? We must destroy the bucket. Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. We must Go ahead it. now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. I love you, bucket. The machine when you're, ready. you're the best bucket a girl could have. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. 
I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, Stanley you won't really get rid of the bucket. The bucket Stanley! You'll see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like the bucket truly is infinite. Traits. What other object in this the game? The bucket will not be destroyed. It's literally looking at me. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. The bucket won't allow okay, it. I don't have a choice. The bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable game. Like the the bucket won't allow it. The bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it. The fans stand. I, I, I can't. I can't. Oh. The bucket has spoken. The bucket said no. The bucket destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. Wow. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that hmm. you were here, you were magnificent. I, I didn't have a choice there. The bucket would not allow itself to be destroyed. Stanley has become too attached to the bucket and has defied me. The bucket was too powerful after all. We are all bucket. I can't imagine. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Whoop. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Why the hell would you say that, game? Assertive, yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I literally don't think there's anything else to do, though. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Should I listen? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Should I reboot the game? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any okay. human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence Hold of up. the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's no. warmth and guiding light Stop it. the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him. Okay. What happens if we do this? What do we gain from this? What do we gain? What do we lose? A lot of questions. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I need to find like a more high quality Naruto thing, but. Before we get started, can I just say something? Sure. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead and pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. All right, I'll let you back into the game now. Huh. 
What changes? If anything. This is a All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh god. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, we're leaving the bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we're gonna go up to the boss's room again. Okay, there's no yeah, more there notes for us. single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I still feel like I'm missing something. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of anything. Okay, this is life. different without the bucket, Shot. though. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief. Wait for the clock to pass a minute to be sure it was the right time when you played. Oh. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk. I think it just doesn't want you to pick 12. That his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. What is it? 2845. But of course, I guessed. Yet incredibly, Whee! by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Stanley's amazing. amazing. Okay. He stepped into the newly opened passage. We go this way without the bucket. Isn't this where we got crushed? Yeah, we go this way without the bucket this time. Wait, no, because I escaped. I went a different way. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, we didn't try this room. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? We go press all the buttons until it resets us. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. We touched the other thing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yeah. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yeah. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah. Okay, this way. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Ooh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Sir Theory, thank you so much for the two months! Uh... Off, right? Yeah, my controls idle awaiting input. Off! We want to be free. I need to redo this part with the bucket, though! There's so much here. I've got so many things left to do with Batons, the bucket. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Probably not. Yes. 
He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Don't trust yet, it. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? True. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? The bucket. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? The bucket. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Ooh. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. We escaped! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aw, but we left the bucket! The bucket's with us in spirit. We are all bucket. This is gonna send me back? It is! Okay. Man, it's already past all 11. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had The first the game memory. never had a bucket. Oh, that Stanley is just sad, okay? The, co he would ever the first meet. game cannot exist Stanley without a bucket. bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Chuck the bucket? No. Now I'll figure out what his name is. He has to Still See, the thing is this we can't name the bucket. The bucket, the bucket must name itself. Now more than ever. The bucket Perhaps must choose its own path. Was where coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs. I must to the take the bucket office. to freedom. I can't ignore this. Me and the bucket must go. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this relic, yeah. Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Ooh. Was it the bucket knew all along? The bucket knows was all. The bucket guiding him. The bucket guides. Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. The bucket protect. The bucket attack. The bucket knows all. Okay, we escape with the bucket, and then I'm done, and then I will quit the for the night. Downward. Plummeting towards an unknown fate. I don't care how many more bucket related endings there are. Together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Everything is fine. Kevin is bucket. We are Stanley all one bucket, bucket united under the Kevin. Door that read, Mind control facility. No, because the bucket wants to escape too. The bucket lights rose to... on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible! <laughs> what I said three endings ago. Standing That's the true. This is the last one. Themselves. The last one I'm messing with. We're going to save the bucket, and then that is going to be it. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything <laughs> like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. I love the way the narration changes on whether or not you have the bucket. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Mm -hmm. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do? We'll in the find that out, bucket. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. We'll go together. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. <laughs> into the His bucket? His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, 
He could trust no one except for the bucket. No one except the bucket. There is no one but the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Okay, now I have a problem. Why? Why are there buttons with numbers on them? I must know. But what if this breaks it? What if this takes me back? No. I need to know, game. Bucket. Bucket, what are we missing? It's okay, Bucket. We'll find out later, Bucket. Me and you. But for now, we must be free. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. To freedom! Stanley and the Bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Don't let the game Stanley lure you into more content. They their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Oh. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Okay. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, okay. but it was one they'd lived together Aww. with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... Why is it stopping? What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? What? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. What? Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. No! Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket, would go to any lengths not to part with the Bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. I went through all of that. I played Stanley Parable. The Deluxe Edition. I played Stanley Parable too. And I have to leave the bucket. Disgusting. Disgusting behavior. The twist. I am angry. I am upset. I am shiny. I can't believe they did that to me. I really can't. All I wanted was the bucket and to love the bucket. We're going, okay, it's meme time. This is ridiculous. All I wanted was to love the bucket and to be one with the bucket because the bucket understood me. And now I have nothing. And that is sad. Dang it. 
I missed the part where that's my problem. I pledged myself to that bucket. Me and that bucket were already married. That bucket goes nowhere. Look at these graphs. <laughs> oh, look at these photographs. The, but the bucket. But the bucket. <laughs> I did watch the memes. Not watch them, but I did look at the memes while I was away, and they're still great. Oh, man. The shiny button. <laughs> oh man the bucket is us and we are the bucket and we can never be without the bucket listen to the victorious music from the bucket <laughs> dumbass university <laughs> oh god when the music starts blasting turn it off <laughs> Make any reference to Nine Inch Nails. That's true. That's true. You do work that in there a lot. Starting the music revolution. Want to come? Hearing the voice in your head. I sleep. The voice acknowledges that you can hear. <laughs> oh, man. Something's wrong. I can feel it. <laughs> I thought I was in control until the very end. And it's like you can't leave with the bucket. Disrespectful. <laughs> oh man, I think he got tired of the amount of times I throw something, I throw myself off. Of yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'll do it again. I will do it again. Oh, the narrator sees a new player sin following the narrator's revise starts disobeying the narrator the narrator after sin repeatedly kills herself that's true i did not want to be told what to do memeable moments in stanley parable there's too many of them oh my god i'm gonna make some great tiktok content from that hold up sin when the narrator has a picture of her death as one of the most he really did Remind me of a jackass. When will I be finished moving in reality? That's an up. Uh, that's what it feels like. I feel like I'll still have boxes six months from now. Writing conventional game dialogue, shit talking, and everyone in gaming. And I loved it. Then repeatedly hitting the fast forward button, but the narrator dies. Yeah. He came back though. Given name, government name. My government name was brought up in chat. The opportunity to make a thin pun. You gotta love the synergy of the way we react to things. When the button doesn't say your name. Actually, I was happy being Jim. I was happy being Jim. I was a great Jim. And no one can tell me otherwise. I really role played for that one. I was a great Jim. And his name, yes, I was an excellent Jim. Always. <laughs> He was making a lot of dumb decisions. He was doing a lot of dumb things. It is all his fault. Oh, it's another gym one. Wait, no. Give me back my gym. It doesn't feel right without being able to be gym. When the hold isn't it. Lies. You mean hole? I see your mistake, Prez, and I will hold it against you. The hold is not infinite. After jumping down the hole each time, shorter than I expected. <laughs> yeah, he did leave me. He did leave me alone for a while. <laughs> I love the hole. <laughs> it's a beautiful bucket. Yeah, I did sneeze a couple of times. I think I was allergic to the bucket secretly. When they put Stanley Parable 2 in the Ultra Deluxe Edition, you did it. <laughs> the bucket is the captain now. Back. Let me like that one. Why are the memes the best recap of a stream that one shouldn't be able to recap? The memes are always the best recap of anything. The buckets then the nearest. <laughs> he did want my bucket and it wasn't okay. I do have feelings for the bucket. We are bucket. 3D yeah, the 3D printed reconstruction of the bucket. <laughs> we are bucket. 
right? Other left. Facts. Facts. Jim will always be more important than Stanley. Sin City is the bucket. And I love it. We were always meant to be the bucket. <laughs> this is what you do. The mod window on one side and then the meme out uh, layouts on the other. I love it. Multitasking. When she sees, when she's asked to destroy the bucket, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Facts. I did try to do it at the end for like an extra ending. It wasn't worth it, obviously. It was not worth it. The bucket is love. The bucket is life. The bucket knows all. <laughs> oh, the I have to clip the elevator scene. I really have to clip the elevator scene. Oh man, when the bucket is taken from her, this is outrageous. This is unfair. <laughs> the bucket was amazing. Bucket 10 out of 10. The bucket made the game. I cherish the bucket with my heart. I don't care how many men, women, or children I have to kill to get it. Oh my God. Facts. Where's my bucket? So many bucket memes. So little time. When Sim believes me when I say the voices in the game are all the same guy, I did fall for it. True. Buckets are everything. You know, buckets. To be honest, this. Have time to make so many memes. Multitasking like Prez does, apparently. It was all bucket. It was always the bucket. Guessed a different tractor. No, no, no. The tractor, it was the bucket. It was always the bucket. Narrator loving figures, sin loving the bucket, Twitch chat. They were not the same thing, okay? The bucket has a personality. The bucket has a purpose. The figurines did not. Same when she sees the invisible walls. I know, I felt lied to. You stole my bucket. You bucket hater. Tired of figuring out what to make for dinner. Worst part of being done. <laughs> really warned me about this. This has nothing to do with stream, but also facts. Big bucket is watching you. Damn, I kind of business and streams, Gabby. <laughs> uh, you may take my sanity, but you'll never take my bucket. Facts. Reality, bucket. Facts. No bucket, bucket. Narrator. <laughs> oh man, all the while guessing the passcode, Luck Stanley the narrator. Boo, this has no bucket. All endings must have a bucket to be viable endings. That feeling when you escape, Stanley, it's not the same. It's not the same. I mean, it's the ending that Stanley deserved, but also where's the bucket? Is tonight a good time to preview, uh, to debut another parody song? Yeah, we can do that real quickly. Uh, yeah, just post it into my chat and I will grab it and I will play it. Escaping as Stanley to freedom. It's not the same. It's not the same. Infinite loops Stanley. It's not the same. It's not the same without our boy, the bucket. And it's really sad. I love that bucket. That bucket was all I ever wanted and dreamed of. And it was taken from me. Okay. Let me, ah, uh, okay. I see where you put it. Let's see if it will play. There we go. So much is going on. <laughs> Where does 
does your brain come up with these things? Like, I am always impressed and a tad bit afraid of the power, to be honest. There is so much going on. There is so much going on. Oh, wait, where? Hmm. What had happened? OBS, did you switch my settings again? Oh, dang it, where'd it go? Well, it's playing for me. Hold up. OBS, what have you done? All right. By the way, are these ever... I see these in the mod chat, but do they get posted in the general chat too? Lazi, welcome back in. I hope work's been well. The game was amazing. Were you here when I found my bucket? The bucket was the best thing. The bucket was life. The bucket was perfect. The bucket was a masterpiece. No, you missed the bucket. The bucket's new piece of lore. The bucket is the most important thing to this. Well, no. The bucket is one giant part of this community now. We are all bucket. Every single one of us. We are nothing but bucket and we are all united by bucket. And it's great. Praise Kevin, for he is the bucket. Kevin would be a bucket. Buckets are just means of carrying things. And Kevin is the carrier of my soul. Sure, I'll go with that. Kevin is the bucket. It just has little helicopter blades. That's true. Okay. We have been going for over 30 minutes of our normal time. And now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who should we find to raid? What are the suggestions here? Oh, thank you for the raid message, Edward. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to figure out who to raid. If anyone's got the ooh, Lady Valent. Oh, is she on right now? Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Oh, cool. Oh, she's playing that V Rising game. I've seen a lot of people. You shot it with a cannon. I'll be honest. Giving this a try. <laughs> yeah, I lit the ship on fire, ooh. and I did vomit on you. Interesting. Yes. Okay, I'm totally down to do it. Plus, I haven't seen anything out of V Rising, so I feel like it would be really interesting. So we are going to do that. We will go and raid for some V Rising. I almost forgot how to set up my raid thing. Oh my god, it's been too long. Majestic Tiger, how are you doing? What is up? Okay, we are going to set up for the raid. Use your mod brain cell. Okay, I think I did it. I did it correctly. But thank you guys so much for an awesome stream. The first one in the new apartment. Likely the boxes will still be here when we come back on Wednesday because um, I don't really have to move them. Actually, I do have to move them by Wednesday. Anyway, this will constantly be changing. So we will figure this out. But thank you guys so much for an awesome stream. It was really nice to come back. I've missed you guys. It feels weird not being able to stream. And for all the people who were suggesting Stanley Parable, thank you so much because it was honestly an amazing time. And I'm really happy that I know now that my existence is to be Bucket. And I, I feel at one with the world now. But thank you guys so much. Praise the Bucket. Thank you everyone for hanging out. To all the followers and the lurkers and any new people who might be around. And the mods. You guys are the best. Uh, will I have some time after stream? Yeah. Yeah. I just need to get some water because I have a massive headache. But um, thank you guys so much. And it was so nice to see all of you again. And I'm really excited for Wednesday. Hopefully by then I will have the PS5 set back up so we can jump back into Resident Evil if we want to. But there are other things on my computer that we can give a try. So yeah, constantly changing background. 
a lot's gonna be going on I'm while I get settled. Oh, I'm running out of time. Everyone have a good night. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.